Hey, Chad, what's up? Welcome, beginning of stream, Peepo Arrivers. And welcome back. It's Thursday, hurtling towards the weekend. And I feel like doing some snapping today. Because the new update's been good. I've been steadily accumulating some new cards, enjoying some new decks having a blast. I don't have any of the new new ones. I just have the ones that are new to me so far. I don't have a complete pool 3 collection yet. But I'm actually getting pretty close to my first guaranteed um, series 4 drop from the collection tracker. So I'm hoping that that is something good or at least usable. I'll settle for usable. Doesn't have to be, you know, a free She-Hulk. <laughs> but that would be best case scenario. Oh, I'm settling in. Chad, I haven't hit infinite this season and there's only four days left. So I'm not sure if today's the day or if, or if today's just going to be the give up. We'll see. Try to get some cubes. The problem is it's hard to rank up the rank ladder when you're experimenting with a bunch of new cards. Because I kind of just want to play and have fun, and if I don't hit infinite, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that, because it's just a card back. It's one card back. I already got the things that matter. At level 90, you get gold. So I already got that. The Etel I know would never give up. The normal Etel that doesn't give up doesn't have a time limit on giving up. <laughs> if I lose at other games, I can just start new games. But anyways, thanks for coming out, everyone. Getting cozy tonight. We're going to play just chucking cards. Maybe we'll start with a couple of decks that I sort of already played with the last time we played Snap a couple days ago. Maybe slightly modified. And just vibe with those for a bit and then maybe try some little deck building exercises do some homebrew with what cards I have available Aldi Town would play eight hours of Elo hell and comprise compromise other streams to continue playing snap you know what though that worked and that's what got me to infinite last time <laughs> so uh, it's nothing if not successful I guess but um today is not the only Marvel day tomorrow is also going to be a Marvel day of a different sort uh, tomorrow's Marvel Midnight Suns release day so I'm planning on checking that out that's the XCOM like from the uh, Firaxis devs their new game and apparently it's actually very good so that's exciting to hear get a new strategy game in the wheelhouse. Now, some of you might think like, hey, listen, that's cool and all, but uh, do you think you're leaning a little too hard into the Marvel things right now? Like superheroes are kind of stale, right? We're all tired of superhero movies, but uh, you gotta stick with what's hype. You know, we gotta find, Door Fortress, Rim World. What, uh, what's all this Marvel stuff? I, for one, I completely disagree. I think I could go a lot further. I think I still have plenty of room left. Armel Streamer. Streamer is so cringe, it's based. <laughs> if you go far enough around, the, uh, the cringe tracker is like the circumference of the earth. You just follow a line and eventually you'll end up back where you started. 
An Infinity Gauntlet would have been nice. Who says I'm not already getting one right now? Who says I'm not in the, uh, adding one to my cart at this very moment? They do make a Lego Infinity Gauntlet, but I'm not sure, like... Do I really want a Lego Infinity Gauntlet? That would require me to build Legos. Do you see that box over there? That is unbuilt Legos, and it's been unbuilt for a long time. And that's the one that I bought on stream after getting peer pressure. The idea of building it was so much fun that when I actually got it, I just didn't build it. So there's that. Okay, I'm looking up the Lego Infinity one now. So hang on, do they have articulating fingies? They do. So you could just make the Infinity Gauntlet Lego version just give the finger in the background. Is that, am I understanding that correctly? Okay, that might be worth. Possibly. You just have that behind me over there? On stream build, probably not. Okay, here it is. Chad, do you think this is cool? You can't see it, can you? Hold on, my computer's lagging. <laughs> okay, there we go. The Infinity Saga Infinity Gauntlet. 590 pieces isn't that many pieces. 7 out of 10? I think I agree with that. It doesn't look amazing, but it doesn't look bad either. Like, I, I like it. But I don't feel like I need it. But I like it. Just got the big castle for my son. Big castle? There's probably a lot of big castles, but I hope that big castle that you got is especially fun. Lego is always an adjective. Guess what? The consumer gets to decide. Wibble. Legos... Every... <laughs> yeah, you just gotta go with what works. Okay, the people determine that. Anyway, hello, Heroics. PB for you, what's up? Catatonic, Great Thane, welcome back, just some old guy. Influx, CG Core. Chillin' Sicilian says, just bought the Sanctum Sanctorum set. Okay, now you have my attention. Be oh, is that the one that you meant by castle? Uh, possibly. Okay, now this is pretty sweet. Um, is there an inside as well, or is it just an exterior? It seems like both. It seems like there's some pieces that you can peek into. One picture I don't feel like does it justice. But this is one, this is the, I guess, if I had to pick one picture, I'd pick this one. Dude, my computer is struggling right now. There we go. We got Strange, we got Wong, Spidey, Iron Man. Who's the bottom left? Who is that? Is that some bad guy? Nefarious bad guy? <laughs> okay. Spider-Man is doing that one meme where that girl is running sideways. You know what I'm talking about? <sighs> what is the name of that meme image? Anyway, that one's cool. That's, oh, that's Ebony Maw down there, of course. I stole your move deck to climb. Thanks, Ital. Well, it's not my move deck, but I'm glad it worked for you. It's just the move deck for Pool 2. What rank are you in Snap? I am rank 93, so I am a uh, non-infinite pleb. And that's where we're going to be starting off today. But I just got quite a few new cards, and i um, mostly excited to play Mr. Negative today, because uh, that's one of my most recent acquisitions. We just unlocked him a couple days ago. And maybe some Cerebro, if we can get it to work. Throne Room is not the best for Cerebro. 
which is the featured location right now. But we're going to play with those. But what's up, Isri, Joe Caleb, Schnoodly, welcome back. Thomnipotent, Ballistic Burrow, Howdy Feeling Haggard, Van Pulen, Star Wolf, and everybody else, Adaduck people arriving. Did we say Mega Base? We did. We're taking a little breather from uh, good old RimWorld because we've just been on the grind too much lately. And uh, I'm definitely feeling some burnout. So I just want to chill with some snap today and get some variety with the new really excited for midnight suns tomorrow so quite excited to get to check that out but yeah i think if you look at the video history we have played rimworld in a significant portion of recent streams uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten out of the last eleven streams 10 out of the last 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so yeah, like a, a lot, okay? There's been a lot. So, need to break things up a little bit. Kind of just want to hang out, chuck some cards. So, why waste any more time? We got about two and a half hours until the shop updates. That is not the view I want. There we go. Beak. You can see that um, we had some fun yesterday. I got these on yesterday's stream. I'm broke though. I'm out of gold. <laughs> I got the Blue Marvel Neutral Zone variant and Odin. I do like this Mystique as well, but there are other Mystiques that I like a little bit more. And this is a cool Human Torch, but Human Torch has some neat unreleased ones as well. These are just variants. A little optional art. What happened to all the gold? Well, I spent it on the Cyber Holiday special, uh, which I don't regret in the least, actually. I'm very happy with this bundle, and apparently there's a data mined other bundles, and there's going to be another bundle that's a little bit smaller uh, once this one's over that obviously the numbers are subject to change, but I want to say that I remember that one being like 6,000 gold instead of, this one was 7,500 or some such, with 2,000 collector tokens and a bunch of credits. I don't remember all the details, but anyway, there's supposed to be another one after this. The key there is, and this is the ingenious monetization from the devs, because collector tokens are unequivocally a good thing for the future of Marvel Snap and a direct improvement over putting boosters in caches that you can't really use. However, it's also allowed the developers to monetize collector tokens and give them a value, which I think is just a really smart thing from their part because it's a damn good offer by comparison to the alternative. Like the 3000 collector tokens is what pushed me over the edge. Like, oh, I get to choose the cards that I want to get, and I get all these credits to go up the collection level track at the same time? What a deal. So it makes it seem like a very good deal to me. Let's put it this way. It's a very good deal if you were already going to spend money. If you weren't planning on spending money, you should probably just continue to stick to your guns, unless your wallet is creeping open on the table in front of you. I have no concept of currency in this game, so Ita must have spent $6,000 on this game. <laughs> One day, maybe. Uh, it's not Hearthstone. Okay, it's not Hearthstone, so not yet. But Bimbrode is here, so it's a matter of time. Um, but yeah, the, the concept of currency is 8,000 gold is $100. And <clears throat> this pack was 7,500 gold. So it was about 93. This is a $93 bundle, basically. You seem like a really easy person to gift shop for. Yeah, about that, actually. This is true. Alice was like, so... She was taking this jokingly. 
She was like, so what if I just got you Apple gift cards or Marvel Snap Gold for our, our anniversary and Christmas? And I was like, yes, that would be lovely, my dear, actually. I would love that. <laughs> and she was like, I was just joking. And I was like, I'm being dead serious. Like, if you want to get me gold, like, that is the perfect gift. I would love it. So easy to shop for. So, yeah, I would I would gladly accept. And um, some of my family members want to know, like, hey, what do you want for Christmas? And genuinely, I was like, I don't want anything. You don't have to get me anything. And they're like, no, 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 seriously. We, like, my parents really want to get me something for Christmas. And now I'm just going to be like, Apple gift cards. I, I hate asking for gift cards, but you can't, like... I don't like asking for gift cards because it's just exchanging money, but you can't just buy me gold if you don't, like there's no way to gift gold in the game. And that's what, this is the only thing I want. I want gold in Snap. That's what I want for Christmas. Is that so wrong? Like, it's just so simple. It's just so easy. Nothing complicated. Nothing, like it can be as much or as little, like $20 is the same as $100. It all just goes into the same place. Huge cash opening stream post Christmas. <laughs> I'll do it too. I'll do it. Santa dropping Marvel snap gold in the stocking. But yeah, I literally said the same thing to my family. I'd say it's a problem, but it's I don't care like I, I'm not in, I'm past the point of being embarrassed or sheepish This is my favorite thing to spend money on right now In 2018 2019 before COVID it was um, Go into the strip or the casinos or something every couple months and spend you know like 200 bucks having a night out with some drinks. Now, just give me Marvel Snap Gold, okay? I have become just a just a quiet old man streamer who just wants to stay home and make cards, make funny noises and animations, okay? Doesn't have to be like a, a fancy cocktail and uh, a night of blackjack. Anyways, uh, my shop's got Black Widow in it right now. Which I think is a good card. Like, I think Black Widow is um, worth putting into a number of decks. And I do want this card. But I don't want this card enough to spend precious tokens. The, these tokens are incredibly difficult to come by at the moment. And uh, everybody was... This token shop is brand new. As of a couple days ago. And everybody got at least 3,000 tokens for free. You got 6,000 tokens for free if you were collection level 1,000 or above, which I was, so I got 6,000 for free. And then if you were, I forget what the cutoff, what's the next cutoff? Is it collection level 3,000 for the next cutoff? And you got 9,000 tokens? I forget. But uh, there was a 9,000 token bracket. I was two levels off 1,000. I would have paid money at that point. <laughs> if I was two levels off of a thousand, I would have scrounged between the couch cushions for, you literally need $5 investment. Like that's that's like $5 from coins off the street. Um, Cause if you're not at a thousand now, there's no reason to rush. But if, you, if it was a couple days ago. Cause two levels is, a hundred credits. That's like that's like one daily mission. But yeah, if you if you're below collection level, uh, like I'm collection level fourteen hundred. If you're below collection level five hundred, once you crest that five hundred level, you will get three thousand tokens. By the way, just so that there's no confusion there. So once you get over five hundred. Uh, you, you should get a gift of 3,000 tokens into your account, if my understanding is correct. Because you don't actually see the token shop until you've completed your Pool 2 collection. And that's the cutoff for completing your Pool 2 collection. 
I have a Namor variant for 5k tokens in my shop. I have seen that variant and it looks incredible, but I don't think that there is a single person alive who is going to pay 5,000 tokens for any of the rare variants right now. Like I genuinely am not sure how long that's gonna take to even out. Cause tokens are so hard to get. And it's the only way to get the new new cards. God, I'm so glad I was able to catch my favorite dedicated Marvel Snap streamer. I'll be here all night, Moon the Elf. Where do we see how many tokens we have? It's in the shop. It's this red number right here. So I have 7,700. So I'm close to every um, Series 3 card is 1,000. So I'm close to another card because I have 7,700. And I'm excited to see this rollover. So I do want this card, but not, not to spin. Because the Series 4 cards, of which... Right now, I think everyone pretty much agrees She-Hulk is the most uh, flexible, possibly the most powerful. That would be 3,000. So if She-Hulk comes up, I might have to pull the trigger on that. Because she seems very fun. And then beyond that, if Thanos randomly appears in my shop, I don't know if I can stop myself. Like, I don't want to spend 6,000 tokens on Thanos, but if he, if he, you know, he arrives, I might have to. Did you get any sweet pool four or five cards? Not yet, no. I haven't seen any pool four or five cards in the token shop. And I'm actually getting very close to the pool four pity timer. The pool four pity timer is, I think, 40 caches. And I'm at like 33 caches. Is Galactus 6k too? Yes, Galactus is also 6k. Currently, Shuri's in my shop. I got beat by Shuri earlier. But I don't think I would... Personally, like... This is just my own conjecture. I'm not convinced that Thanos is going to be demoted to pool 4 and then pool 3. I feel like almost all of the new cards will with the exception of possibly Galactus and Thanos, and they'll just be the super rare dinguses for a long time. So for me, like, I don't want any of the other cards from pool five, because I feel like they're gonna come down to pool three and become much cheaper. But I, uh, um, again, this is just my own suppositions. So I'm willing to spend on Thanos because I don't think Thanos is gonna get cheaper. But I think the re all the rest of them will. Hopefully. But yes, I'm close to the pity timer. Apparently Thanos works amazing with Quinjet. Yeah, there's there's some fun... Uh, I'm going to call them meme decks, but... For sure. Super Scroll seems fun to build around, but definitely not as strong. Uh, for those of you who don't know who the hell we're talking about, I can't even look at the news because I forgot that the... Uh, <laughs> The PC app doesn't have the news, but I can just pull up ye old display capture for you instead. So that's She-Hulk. This is probably my top pick from Series 4. So Series 4 is uh, 3,000 tokens in the shop and can come from chests. Do you have Beast? I do. I actually just got Falcon. That was my last pull earlier today. Titania is also sort of interesting. When any card is played at this location, this card switches sides and just bounces back and forth whenever anybody plays a card, which is crazy. Uh, Luke Cage is one of my top picks as well because the problem is I don't have the rest of the cards that make Luke Cage good, except I do have Typhoid Mary and I do have Hazmat, but I'm still missing some other key pieces. Absorbing Man seems cool. If the last card you played has on reveal ability, copy it. I wouldn't be mad if my free card was Maria Hill or Agent Coulson, because they just seem like solid cards at a random one drop. Add a random four and five to your hands. Like, I would not be mad to get Agent Coulson. 
I find that I struggle to pick uh, three cost cards or th frequently, and he just seems like he goes in a lot of decks. Why does his hand look like that? He's... He's like what? He's holding the bottom of the gun for stability. When you discard from your hand... I did get Helicarriered earlier. <laughs> Somebody did Helicarrier. I have seen this one in the wild. Um, I had some interesting ideas with Helicarrier. But none that I can build myself. I think M'Baku is the one that literally everyone will be upset to get as their free Pity Timer card, so I'm fully expecting that to be mine. He's just very weak. If this is in your deck at the end of the game, it leaps to a random location. Wow, a 1-2. Very cool. Thank you. He's just... Angel, but different. Uh, Atuma I've seen in the wild as well. If you have another card here at the end of your turn, destroy this one. Uh, I've seen this used with Zero. And also with Carnage. Not, not Carnage. Venom. Um, Venom can come down and eat it, but that's two cards to get 11 power, so I don't know if that's good. Um, Orca seems neat. Plus five power if this is your only card here. I think I would find a way to make this work, but it is tricky. Just because squirrels and raptors exist. That's just fancy the more. Yeah, a lot of the there's a lot of four cost cards for big power. Like this is in the same cluster of cards as um Jessica Jones, Rescue, Namor, and Crossbones. So there's just like another option at four. Well, then of course we got series five, the big dogs. Galactus is <laughs> Galactus is currently the king of winning two cubes, from what I have seen. Galactus decks are very, very good, but will you will always be able to at least retreat and only lose two cubes against them. So that's the upside. You'll never, ever win or lose eight cubes when Galactus is played, because there's no time. The way that Galactus is good is getting him out as soon as possible with like a wave, turn three. And then Galactus turn four. Then you have two turns and you can block their plays with Spider-Man or something else. Valkyrie said, I did get Valkyrie. Someone did use a Valkyrie against me. Said all cards at this location to three power. I did win the location, but I lost the game. Super Scroll has the ongoing effect of all enemy cards simultaneously. I love this art. I want Super Scroll. I'm not going to get him, but I want him, if that makes sense. And then Shuri, double the power of the next card you play, is incredibly strong with a lot of combo decks. Uh, Bast, set the power of all the cards in your hand to three. I would love to try this with some Cerebro. And then, of course, the, the boy himself, Thanos. If Thanos comes up, I think I have to. I won four cubes off a of wave Galactus game. Only way to win four cubes is if they snap back before they see Galactus. Because if you snap after seeing Galactus, you have to have a very good hand to beat Spider-Man. Or you have to put down a, um, like a goose on that location. All right, let's get into it, chat. Uh, we're going to start with some Mr. Positive. This is not the optimal build for a Mr. Negative deck, but I'm doing my best substituting some cards right now. It's been working okay for me. Uh, I got to deal with recent nerf to Angela, making her a 2-0, and also Sarah is now a 5-4, which is better in Mr. Negative decks. So both of these are technically better in Mr. Negative decks, because um, they're now cheaper to play if they're inverted. But I just chucked Mr. Fantastic in here. I think Rogue is played in Mr. Negative quite a bit. Uh, but Bishop has been really solid here. And uh, the, the big thing, of course, is the man himself, Mr. Negative. 
swapping the power and cost of all cards in your deck. This is what's called a build around card. It's a card that is so powerful and so interesting that you will build your entire deck around his ability. So he doesn't swap the cost and power of cards in my hand, just in my deck. So our goal is to get Mr. Negative out as soon as possible. Preferably with an early Psylocke on turn two. Next turn you get plus one energy and then I can play Mr. Negative on turn three instead of waiting until turn four. And then I get more draws. Uh, the other key here is magic who extends the length of the game to seven turns, unless the location of Limbo is cut short with a another location changer like Storm or something like that. So I got really lucky slash <laughs> pay to win. No, I'm just kidding. And I recently, I can't complain about my, my draws. Um, I am exactly one chest over 25%. I pulled Falcon earlier today and on the just before that I got the hood which I have long been waiting for. So I finally have the hood. He's in so many decks. He's a very strong card. And then before that I got Mr. Negative and Magic back to back. So my Mr. Negative deck was complete on stream because of that a couple days ago. And then uh I had a really long stretch of terrible luck, but it's evened out. From Moon Knight, I went empty cash, empty, not em, not literally empty, I had to be careful with my wording. Okay, no card cash, 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 none, none, none. Finally calling wings. So it was a long stretch, but then I started getting a bam, 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 bam. So now I'm hitting all the unlocks. What are you using Falcon for? Nothing yet. Uh, we gotta make... Maybe try Falcon out today, because I just unlocked him. All right, Mr. Positive, let's go. Let's get it, chat. I don't know what my favorite Infinity Stone is. I'm not sure. Um, the Time Stone is the green one, right? I do like time. Okay, we can at least get a turn two Angela down. Card with the highest power gets plus three. Cards can't be destroyed here. Uh, I don't expect my cards to be destroyed. Unless Galactus shows up. Jam into the Marvel Snap music loop. Hell yeah. Okay, and I'm probably just going to play... I do like Nakia to buff Iron Man. You have the two leftmost cards in your hand plus two power, so Iron Man really benefits from that. However, I think it's fine to go ahead and get Fantastic out on Angela. Okay, we actually just dodged Cosmo, who's blocking on reveal abilities here. Uh, I wasn't trying to dodge Cosmo, but that would have blocked Nakia's ability. So now we got a Mr. Negative somewhere. Luckily, that's if that if Mr. Negative gets blocked by Cosmo, then we're really in trouble. <laughs> All right, so we we optimal draw next turn is magic. I think we really need that extra turn because we just drew Blue Marvel, which is bad. Um, we don't really want to draw Blue Marvel right now. Yet we have so. Um, looking at Destroyer incoming turn six. So if we can just predict where Destroyer is going to go. I think best case scenario is just playing into Wakanda because we have Angela, we have Sarah. Okay. So can we beat... Destroyer. That is the question. The problem is we do we do not have an optimal play. We almost can resuscitate Mr. Negative. We can tie with Mystique. <laughs> we <laughs> we can tie Professor X with the double blue marvel, but I think we lose 
everything else. The card with the highest power gets plus three. Okay, see, that's going to be... Oh, yeah. Well, Nakia doesn't need an on-reveal. We're going to have three, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to have eight versus eleven on the left. We'll tie right. And then probably lose to Destroyer. So I'm just going to peace out. If uh, we had drawn a little bit different, for example, when you have Mr. Negative, what you really don't want to do is <laughs> draw Iron Man and Blue Marvel before you play Mr. Negative. You're hoping that those stay in the deck longer. Hello. Would negative and hobgob be strong or self-sabotage? I'm just not sure exactly what it would really do. Because it would just be a zero zero, <laughs> right? I think it would be a zero zero that just flies to the other side. And the problem, the other problem with Mr. Negative decks, of course, is not drawing the man himself, Mr. Negative. And now we really won't be drawing. <laughs> We are about to blue marvel the hell out of these Widow Bites. Hmm, where do we want these to go? Uh, like, I know that they're going to be at a, at a bit of an advantage. What do I have? I still have Sarah turn five. And I have blue marvel and something turn six. Blue Marvel will make the Widow's Bites better. But since I don't have uh, my win condition and I don't have magic, I'm just going to retreat for one cube. Escaped. So uh, the other win condition, if we don't get... Um, Mr. Negative when we want is having magic to extend the length of the game. It would be a zero. Oh, Hobgob would be a zero five that goes to your opponent. <laughs> People leave. Gotta be willing to take the one cube loss. See, now this is a snap. Win or lose, you just gotta snap here. because this is the optimal setup for us. <laughs> okay, but like, really? Turn one, peep, like, snap retreat? Easy one cube, I guess. I want two cubes though. Raw Intimidation. Jubilee and Mr. Fantastic. I can live without it. Jubilee is an interesting pick, though, because that means we're probably going to be dealing with uh, big chunguses in this deck. I got Death in the shop. Is that a buy? Do you have? If you have Wave also, I'd say it's an insta-buy if you want Death Wave. Chad, this is where we have to have faith, okay? We have Psylocke, we don't have Mr. Negative, we have a... Oh shit, it's Subterranea. Shuffle five rocks into each deck. Okay, we're gonna just keep... There's no way we're gonna draw Mr. Negative next turn with five rocks. I was right. Okay, best case scenario I think now is just trying to get a, a turn for Sarah. So we'll just Psylocke left. Hawkeye mid. My random card is Hawkeye. Hopefully theirs sucks. Just think of that extra rock you could play. I was hoping that they would draw rock. 
Lockjaw with Subterranea should be weak. <laughs> but who can say? Who can say? Okay, let's go ahead and get Sarah out. On Hawkeye. I think we can compete. But yeah, if you already have Wave, I would definitely pick up Death. Death is, is really strong. No White Tiger? I don't have White Tiger in this deck, because I think I like White Tiger better if I had Wong. Because Wong also benefits from Mr. Negative. There's different variations on each card. You have different Lockjaw decks, for example. Um, there's Discard Lockjaw, this version that runs Thor and Jane Foster. There's different takes on Mr. Negative as well. Just depends on what you're going for. And there's such a thing as card synergy. But I don't think just a white tiger without friends is that good here. Okay, uh, in this case... I really want to get Bishop out. This is really good for us mid. I think we go ahead and snap, and if they retreat, then we just go... I don't have to do math. That's, that's how I look at it. They lock it in. Saves me from having to count. I, it wasn't a turn six snap. That was a turn five snap. So um, I'm still following the etiquette so far. I also have not been counting cubes at all, so I'm just going to hide the cube counter for now. Hey, there you are, Magic. I was starting to think you weren't in the deck yet. Nice Nakia variant. Thank you. I'm glad that I have a reason to use it now. <laughs> Robot Kitty, thank you for the 15-month pump it sub, by the way. Hi, Robot Kitty. And Super Dingler says he's back and he's ready to snap. I am. Umbris and Tasty Tango, thank you for the Prime and Tier 1, respectively, as well. Howdy. There's an etiquette? No, it's just, there's not an etiquette per se, but you're the least likely to succeed in getting your opponent to stick around to finish a match if you snap right before the last turn when your board state already looks very strong. The best time to snap is when you think you have a good chance of winning, but haven't revealed uh, that you're, you have a very strong position to your opponent yet. So snapping towards the end is, is generally bad because you're revealing to them after it's pretty clear on the board what's going on. Oh, Chad, this is dirty, dude. This is dirty, but we just can't. No blue marvel, okay? I think this is a snap. Okay. Let's put some cubes on the line. Bar with no name is whoever has the least power here wins. There's a slightly lower. Slightly lower. I think we can still win. Especially with magic coming down. And, ooh. Just, just magic bar with no name. Oh, I didn't think they were gonna kill Monger. Why would you kill Monger that if you're already winning the location? I do not know, but magic has given us an extra turn. I wish I had Sarah right now. But we do have a 0-2 Angela. Okay, I need to do turn order correctly, chat. Turn order correctly. Psylocke is going to help us out here. We're going to go ahead and Psylocke mid. And then Iron Man. Uh, 
I'm actually gonna Psylock. Hmm. I don't like any of these plays, actually. Sadly, I have initiative by one point. Initiative by one. If I was losing this, this would be an easy Shang-Chi. Okay, now I understand the hood with Electro. Yeah, now I understand the hood with Electro as well. Oh, the animation is fantastic, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, we probably just have to retreat now. GG. Escaped. Galactus on Bar Sinister crashes the game. Probably. <laughs> Best case scenario for us there also was not having, um... Like, Mr. Negative's fine in opening hand, but when we have... Cards that whose names escape me, Iron Man and Mystique are in opening hand and we can't draw into them. Like, I think our best draw is Mr. Negative into Iron Man. But yeah, Galactus is one of the new cards that's available uh, via the, the token shop now. That's a 6,000 token card. And it is beatable if you expect it and play around it. I just need to drill into my own brain that Electro equals chat. If you see Electro or Psylocke right now, we should be thinking Galactus immediately and figure out where the best place for Galactus to go is and then play around it. Uh, let's get go ahead and get Bishop down. Does negative Comertage double flip the power and cost? I think so. I think so. I don't really want to do that. It does, and it sucks. But yeah, Galactus is a very strong card right now. They now have a copy of either Sarah or Magic, or both. Who can say? Really only one play at the moment. I played Hobgob and Comertage once. Did it bounce back and come to your side? <laughs> Hello, Platypus Pond. How's it going? Okay, so they got Devil Dino out, and we know that they have a Sarah or a Magic. Or both. Two copies, because White Queen just took two. And, um... We do have an answer here, but we can't let them know that we have an answer here. Because I don't have anything besides this. I think that our best play... We have to win two lanes, right? We have to win two lanes. Psylocke is decent here, too. Give us an extra energy next turn. I've noticed Odin with Wong on Kamratage sends Hobgob back and then <laughs> returns it times two. That's too much. All right, Bishop's powering up every time we play a card. That's not what I wanted to see. Chat, this is when we cry. It's very sad because Cable stole either Iron Man 
or blue marvel and whichever one they didn't steal is sitting in the bottom of the deck so unfortunately that means since cable takes the card from the bottom of the deck that means blue marvel and iron man were there waiting to be drawn with mr negative and instead we have this for two cubes however I'm willing to at least see what happens. For four cubes, no. Why, yes, there is a Shang Chi coming, but I think I still lose. Or do I? No, I do. <laughs> uh, or do I? I actually win. Thanks to Bishop being a 20 power gamer god. <laughs> that was a fun end. <laughs> oh, good stuff. So, uh, leader is a very cool card. Copy all cards your opponent played this turn, but on your side. However, the one way that leader is weak is when you have a lot of cards and they don't have much space. Because um, out of what I played, it also copy it in the same order that we played, I think, if there's room. So they copied my Shang-Chi, which is only worth four to them, so that's fine. I, I didn't really play left. So they have to play leader left to leave space for their copies. They also had initiative. They also had initiative, which means their Shang-Chi didn't have a target, and mine did, because my cards flipped over a second, so Bishop wasn't 20 when their Shang-Chi flipped, because Throne Room was still considering Devil Dino. Why didn't his copy trigger? Yeah, um... <clears throat> I, I just explained, sort of... what happened. Leader's on my token shop right now. I think Leader is an interesting card that pisses me the hell off. If I had him, I would definitely use him. But I don't know if I want to get him with tokens. Why does Shang-Chi kill the dinosaur? I don't know anything about this game. Sorry. Um, because Shang-Chi destroys all enemy cards at this location that have nine or more power. So anything nine or higher that isn't being protected by armor or something like that get boomed but yes um <clears throat> because we tied they won the left location i won the middle and we tied on the right whoever has the highest point total wins for the tiebreaker he's okay but i don't think he's worth a token spend yeah he can be funny um i really want to see there was a, a deck idea for like leader with the copy on reveals what if both players play leader they make like a ton of copies of each other it's it's sort of silly but anyway good win again hello y2b shears thank you for 47 months i appreciate the sub and xenophanes 420 says etal m need cat ones how's it going hope all is well just enjoying some cards right now. But thanks for subbing for 45 months. Maybe we do need a cat emoji. We'll have to find a way to get one. Chat, we've just played Zatchburb, didn't we? Was Zatchburb the Galactus deck? They had, um, or were they... The Lockjaw. We'll know in a second. I think it was the Lockjaw deck. Two Mjolnirs? How come Mom lets you have two Mjolnirs? Ah. 
trying to avoid Vibranium Mines so we don't shuffle Vibranium into the deck. And they don't want Vibranium either, as it happens. How dare you hit Blue Marble? How dare... Bro. <laughs> Maybe I should be grateful that you didn't hit Magic. Giganto? America Chavez? A uh, Thor that has two Mjolnirs in the deck? Oh my god. That's too much. This game's gotta go for a little longer, Mom said. That's who I wanted to see, a 0-5 Iron Man. That's exactly who we wanted to see. Okay, chat, we have um, to make some decisions. We have to make some decisions. <sighs> Bishop is a cool card. Is this better? No, I don't think that's better. Infinaut? Mom lets you have an Infinaut too? That's not fair. Okay, final turn. I'm not convinced that I'm gonna win, but I'm also gonna math this out real quick. Sorry, I can't really commentate on what exactly the hell I'm doing at the moment because Math is very hard, chat. Math is very hard. Um, what sucks about this is I should have maybe shang chi last turn, but then that gives them the opening to win. <sighs> this turn as well. I think if I was a smarter boy, I would have blue marveled left, Iron Man mid. Because that's going to be... We're going to have three, uh, eight, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure how many points we're going to get here. Hold on, hold on, chat. Hold on. I know the turn is ending. Just... I don't know what happens here, actually. Math is hard. I think we win. Pew! I am Iron Man. So this is why I know that a lot of weird bullshit just happened on my side of the board if you don't know how to play Marvel Snap, but this is why the Mr. Negative deck is very fun. When it works, it's very fun. I probably could have gotten eight cubes out of that, but I was too focused on trying to count. <clears throat> Surprise he didn't... Okay, let me explain what happened. Uh, Surprise he didn't Shang-Chi the Infinite. The reason I didn't Shang-Chi the Infinite is because on Camertage, their side of the board was full. So because it's full they can't add any more cards. If they can't add any more cards, it's a predictable outcome. So even if Thor lives, they were gonna have um, Lockjaw plus Thor it was six. So I just needed to beat six, uh, which I did by much more than six, but you know, just in case. Uh, they had initiative. So because they played Mjolnir, it buffed Thor up into the range that Shang-Chi would kill. So Shang-Chi just got a triple kill against that uh, giant lockjaw board. And then the reason I had to undo, redo, undo, because I, I was trying to figure out how much power I needed mid to beat Magneto. I wasn't planning on Magneto, but I was planning on something big. 
uh, in the middle. So I had, I think Iron Man was on the left at first, and I was like, wait a second, I don't need that much power on the left. I need that much power here in the mid, because I was planning on getting Mystique out too, but she was just too expensive to copy Iron Man's power. So I just had to go back and thunk. So Iron Man came out as a, basically a 0-12, who also doubles everybody else at the table's power. So Mr. Fantastic doubles, Blue Marvel doubles, Magic doubles, and of course Blue Marvel's powering them up and getting extra value. Is the deck playable without Magic? For me, no. Like, I don't, I'm not a pro. So take my words with a grain of salt. It is playable if you can win and have fun. Um, but I got very lucky and got magic right with Mr. Negative. Having that seventh turn is what wins me the game. Like, I am losing most of the time unless I get some solid Mr. Negative draws. So if you get really good Mr. Negative draws, like, I think Iron Man's the best negative draw. Um, three, five, Blue Marvel's quite good. Zero, three, Mystique is quite good. The seventh turn is really cool, yeah. That's why I think this deck has been really fun to play. Just because it's a completely different play style from what I have been doing. What does winning do? It makes you feel good. Also, exclamation snap. <laughs> We're getting ranked XP chat. We're trying to get to 100 before the season resets. In like four days. Do you believe in the one in seven chance to draw Mr. Negative next turn? I believe. I never doubted you. Never doubted you. Psylocke just gave me the extra energy that I needed in order to get a turn three negative down. So that is a definite snap for sure. The heart of the cards, chat. And we still have Blue Marvel and Mystique left in the bottom of the deck. Iron Man's already here. We just have to beat Patriot, who is going to love Vibranium, <laughs> actually. Oh. Probably want to kill Vibranium more than Mojo World, don't we? Because Vibranium's throwing off my draws, but that's a really good 3-5 magic that got inverted there. I really want to get Bishop out, but we can get Bishop out later. He's going to lose one power right now. Oh, Vibranium does have an ability. Still get buffed by Kazar, though. So they didn't Mystique Patriot. They either don't have... They must have just gotten Patriot because it's a gray border. All right, we got turn five, turn six, and turn seven to play with. I think... <sighs> see, the problem is, like, I really need to get Sarah... The sooner you get Sarah out, the better, but we're losing bishop value. I don't know if that matters. I'm going to Sarah mid because I think I want to fill Mojo World with Angela and try to get value out of that. Also, the, the more full that Need of Valor gets, it's adding plus five power to all their cards. We have more Shang-Chi options over there, depending on how buff their cards get. <sighs> Nakia and Iron Man go really well. Okay, so at this stage, I think we go ahead and get start getting this set up. Angela, Bishop, and Nakia. And we really want... Blue Marvel or Mystique? We have a pretty good chance to get something useful next turn. I think we want Mystique the most. Chat, Vibranium on Nita Veiler. <laughs> Shang-Chi's crying. Never lucky. Okay, well... Mystique and Blue Marvel are at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> if 
Do we just hope that this is enough? We're already winning Mojo World. They definitely have a play for Mojo, so we're gonna lose Mojo. Is it better to play for Mojo or to play for Nita Veiler? I guess, because we definitely can kill this. But we can't kill two Vibraniums. So two Vibraniums, 27, whereas I only have um, 20. So if they play another Vibranium, then we're in a, we're in some trouble. All right, if we lose four cubes, we lose four cubes. Let's just go. We win Nita Valor. What's their limbo play? Oh no! <laughs> I'm in danger! <laughs> ah, I am in danger. The game is thinking really hard about how to count those, by the way. Yeah, okay. The game actually lagged. Ultron is a good pick. Ultron deck and Nita Veiler is uh, is very strong. They had some awesome locations. I should have predicted that coming though. I don't get Ultron very often. Lost because of priority. Also that, yes, we did lose because of priority. I believe in my one in seven love, Mr. Negative. You ha chat, this is why when you play blackjack, you have to have a rule, okay? It's not always gonna come up. It's statistically only gonna happen one in seven times, but it's it's just, you have to have a rule. Either you believe or you don't. But you can't wishy-washy. I, I almost didn't do it because I was like, what are the odds this is going to happen twice in a row? Oh, and the odds of it happening twice in a row are 50-50. Either it does or it doesn't. Did he tell make this setup himself? The, uh, the stream setup? This is, yeah, this is OBS. Zooming the game in so you can see. Okay, so at this stage, we just need to get to Magic and Sarah. I see Angela and Bishop and Wong. Wong is probably bad for us. I think we just go ahead and kill Throne Room because they'll probably Wong some weird bullshit over there. <laughs> I'm in danger, chat. But that's also why I snap even when I might be losing. Because you just gotta have a rule. And my rule is, if I get Mr. Fantastic out on turn three, you gotta snap. That's the rule. And right now, they don't actually have a lot of points mid. So we just need to win... Probably mid and left. Left looks like the most winnable, just because I'm gonna have um, a friend to help, shall we say? Do, would I rather have Bishop or Nakia? That's the question. Would I rather buff Iron Man plus two or get a little Bishop action? And I don't actually have the answer. I don't know which is better. I think I would rather get bishop and then let iron man augment that bishop sam i'm not sure how i feel about that play sam
Am I gonna lose to a bot? <laughs> Chat, am I gonna lose to a bot? Hold on. Is that the right play? Or is this the right play? Okay, so blue marvel is going to buff everybody plus one. So that's going to be plus eight on this side. So we're already going to 14. So we're going to 22 mid, I think. I don't know if that's enough to be bishop. And then... I'm about to lose a bunch of cubes. And then we're going to go... 7, 10, 13... 18, 21 left. If you want my cubes, have them. I am Iron Man. I believe I win, chat. GG. I am. Is this a, did it? Did this bot just? Was this a bot? Why would they wait to snap until? <sighs> I don't know what happened. He's Iron Man. <sighs> okay, what makes this interaction weird to me is that they, they waited to snap until the turn was almost over. I think it's the fact that it, if I had just hit end turn earlier, they wouldn't have snapped. It feels so real. I'll take the cubes, though. Thank you, Sam. But yeah, I was confused by that play as well. Snapbots passed the Turing test. I don't know what that was. Cards here with the highest power have their power doubled. I usually lose this location, so I've just been sort of avoiding it. Mysterio. So Mysterio, I have to get in my brain, is a 2-4 now, not a 2-5. <laughs> well, okay then. Um, I agree. I was playing a specific deck, and it's been replaced. Oof. Chat, where do you think Rocket Raccoon? Chat, quick. Left, center, right. Left, center, right. Hurry, pick. One, two, three. One, two, three. Pick which one I'm going to be sniping. Chat says left. You are so wrong. Did you just Mr. Negative the random deck? They just Mr. Negative the District X. Do I want this game to go on longer? Because I don't think I do. I think I just want to, like... Okay, I do, yeah. I'll let them have an extra turn. So Bishop's gonna get big. I wish my random deck was cool. <laughs> I do wish my random deck were cool. First time seeing the new magic effect. Yeah, the new magic effect is really good. I like how it glows in your hand. Oh shit, I just opened Agatha. Yo! I would like Agatha. Ooh, Sandman's a good counter to me. That is actually a pro District X play. Because I can only play one card now. So I gotta retreat. Because I was depending on Iron Man Mystique for my final play. But yeah, that was a rough District X. Psylocke, Domino, Dagger. They got an extra Bishop. Sandman killed me. Oh well. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, stuck around for an extra 7th turn. But it's just one cube. 
Turn five domino? It's easier than you think. I definitely win this one. Snap? No, because I don't have Mr. Negative. If I draw Mr. Negative, then I'll snap. But just Sarah alone doesn't guarantee anything, really. Cards you play here have a 25% chance to be destroyed. I don't mind. Oh. <laughs> no need to snap. Opponent is leaving. I'll have my cue back. Thank you. Watch She-Hulk today. It's been fun. Not sure if it'll be good long term. I think it'll be good long term. It seems like a really solid card to add to a number of different decks. Very flexible. Um, I've seen quite a few iterations already. Seems like it slots in nicely to a bunch of different places. Chat, do you believe in your heart that we can get a 1 in 7 chance three times in a row? Or should I just Angela, then Bishop? Believe in the heart of the cards. This time I actually don't believe in the heart of the cards. If I'm wrong, I'll get five subs. If I draw Mr. Negative, I'll get five subs. Okay, I was right. I said have a rule. <laughs> I lied! After turn three, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw three cards. That's actually best case scenario for us. I wonder if we snap on Adelan. Snap. I'll snap on Adelan. I guess they could storm it. Storm would kind of mess me up. It's gonna be Blue Marvel. How did you know? Did you get any more cards? I got Falcon? Oh no. Rocks. And um, I did pick up Captain Marvel. Chat, we still didn't. We got a full reshuffle and still didn't get Mr. Negative. Unbelievable. Four new cards and he's still not home. Sad Mr. Fantastic. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I got. I did end up getting Arnim Zola from the tokens shop. I don't think I can use him yet. Ooh, you're just a bit late. <sighs> yeah, Mr. Negative on turn five is not good because you can't actually play magic on turn six to extend the game longer. You have to play her on turn five. Okay, and now I think we Sarah, and best case scenario is we draw Mystique. They already have Sarah, so God knows what they're going to play. Okay, Claw's not too spooky. Come on, Mystique. Not what we want. Um, that being said, it's possible to still... Where are they gonna play their big chunk? I know we have Bishop here. Bishop's gonna get a little bit of love. I don't like this. I should probably retreat, but let's just see what happens. Do they have more than seven power mid after Shang-Chi? My rock! Ooh, that's close. By one in the middle? Fred, you almost did it. Victory. Why not put Zola in this deck? Because what am I gonna Zola? I like the Zola variant that includes White Tiger and Wong. 
and Black Panther. Mr. Negative is pretty cool. But I don't really need just a random six cost card. That isn't going to synergize with anything. So take a look at the deck. What's my best Arnim Zola? I can have two Iron Mans? I don't know, that doesn't seem very good. Um, two blue marvels instead of one. Like, it's just a very... It's a low-impact play, unless I have something else to help it out. Whereas right now, like, we're, we're winning cubes. We're almost up to 95. But yeah, Chai, you gotta like, um, the key is trying to put cards together that work well together. So yeah, like White Tiger's good, but White Tiger is good in a different deck. That's just a different Mr. Negative deck. There isn't one Mr. Negative deck. I know that there's only one Destroyer deck, and so some of you are uh, playing that. You can't comprehend the fact that there are other decks out there. Uh, but yes, it's true. If you do start playing less brain dead cards, you might find that there's variety in the spice of life. Hello, TVA. One day I'll get Destroyer and then I'll change my tune. Uh, this is we're we're probably gonna lose TVA, right? Mr. Fantastic is really good with TVA, though. Just play leader and let the other player think for me. That'll work, too. Hello, Bungle Grub says, I got Absorbing Man in a cache, and I've lost every game with it in my Wong reveal deck. It's actually been really fun trying to learn how to use it and failing. <laughs> now there's two of them! Uh, fun fact, if you magic one TVA... I could actually stop it, but I can't magic two TVAs. I'm trying to figure out what they were gonna wave. Because Bucky is, this is a destruction deck. Mr. Negative seems pretty difficult to run without Psylocke or Magic to get extra draws. Uh, I would agree with that for this deck especially. Sola, Black Panther, and Shuri. It seems like a good combo. Nothing was destroyed, so they wouldn't have... Uh, I guess they would have been able to play just death and that's it. But I was going to be winning two locations with uh, Mr. Fantastic is pretty good there. Finally got done with chores. I can snap and drink a beer. Hello, Feng Shui. Talix is Nakia. Poor man's Bast. I mean, Bast is cool. He seems nice. But Nakia's fine in this deck. Becomes a 1-3 if you invert it. Um... Also, buffing Mystique and Iron Man are good because you'll usually copy Iron Man's power with Mystique. This is the worst hand. Like, this is probably just an insta-retreat. We have all of the top-end cards that we do not want to draw. And, uh... None of the negative. I've got Mr. Negative, but my best hope to get more than two cards with him is Jane Thor to draw stuff that had zero power before the flip, but that hasn't worked out. Yeah, that's an interesting idea. I just don't have enough zero power draw for... And I don't have Jane Thor either, so that's not even... Chat, we are about to blue marvel the hell out of these squirrels. You understand? Face the of Asgard. Yeah. Can you have fun playing this game if you're poor? Absolutely. Um, this is the... It's a very free-to-play friendly game. 
And from what I understand, the only game that's more free-to-play friendly is Runeterra. But extremely free-to-play friendly. The game is fun, but you'll still be poor. That's true, yo. Uh, chat, is extending the length of the game better or worse for us? Let's find out. They just passed, so probably better. Because I'm imagining that um, we get to see where Infinite comes down. So we just need to save room for Jesus. I mean, Infinite. Save room for Infinite. Okay, based on that, I think instead of Sarah, we actually just want to blue Marvel and leave a space open on each side. Do we snap here? I think we snap. snap. Are you excited for Midnight Suns? Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Uh, Midnight Suns is going to be sick. We're going to play that tomorrow. At least I hope so. They passed again. <laughs> okay. So, basically all we need to do is... Hope that they don't kill Monger. Right? Chat, if you're Infinati. Do you also have. Does Andrew also have She Hulk? If Andrew also has She Hulk, then we say GG. Do we concede right? No. There he is. There they are. They did have She-Hulk. See, like, I'm just working under the assumption that very few people have She-Hulk at the moment, so it's hard to play around the card that 1 in 20 people have. Because you just can't assume. If they had snapped, I would have retreated, for sure. So it was a good, that was a good cube steal. How do you play both? Pass your turn. On turn 6. Not only do they have shield, they upgraded her to legendary already. Shield's a good card. But yeah, I would have done that again. Like, I, I definitely would have uh, stuck around and called the bluff. 100%. Magic lost you the cubes? Not necessarily, because I couldn't Shang-Chi and... Um... I couldn't Shang-Chi and Mystique on the same turn. Unless it was turn seven. Neither of us will get Super Flow then, but at least I get Angela value. Bad turn four for us. I got a She-Hulk, but I haven't played her yet. Well, what are you thinking? Do you like being low ranked? I'm just kidding. Uh, God knows if they got... They could have gotten Magic, Iron Man, Blue Marvel, Sarah from that White Queen. We have four delicious choices for them to sink their teeth into. Is it correct to just ignore Throne Room? Yes. <laughs> it is. <laughs> because Professor X says no. Alright, turn five. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Because I can not... Iron Man Mystique next turn, unless I also Psylocke. Is 
Is that good? Is Nakia Psylocke... I do have a feeling I'm about to get, like... Moved around with, um... your boy. Magneto? Maybe Magneto? Alright, so they got a blue marble. It's kind of hard to beat Angela over there with the double Nightcrawler. I think we're probably losing this, but I like to... I want to stick around. Two cube games are just... If they snap, I retreat. I need to put more power right because of Nightcrawler and Angela. This is a weird deck. Juggernaut, Professor X, White Queen, Angela. I'm trying to like... I don't, I don't know what to expect, so these are just learning cubes. Chat, I'm playing Snap while watching the stream, and the only time I lose is when Weird World switches our decks. Your deck is too good. I finally broke my ranked curse and Snap of bouncing around one rank for ages. I've been here for ages as well, yeah. Big Devil Dino. It's probably too big. So close with Angela. I am Iron Man. Very close. Off by one. The blue marble is what he got from you. You're right, yes. That is my blue marble. Blue marble, you backstabbing bastard. Get back in my deck. I have Magneto in my shop, but I'm new to pool three, and I really want Death and Venom. Death is a really good pick. Um, Wave is also a fantastic choice. If you want, like, you can't... I would say don't just get Death unless you're also planning on getting Wave. Because it's a very essential part of the combo. Cards here have minus one power. I think I'm just going to, unfortunately, play into that. There are these stretches in Mr. Negative decks where Mr. Negative just doesn't come to his own birthday party. And... Bishop, I was going to play you. Lockjaw, I'm sure they were getting ready to play that as well. Um, no Bishop, then. I want Wave, Arrow, or Mystique. Those are all really solid, yeah. Moon Knight taking my Shang-Chi. I guess I just won't play any cards today. Hmm. Well. Is I Wine on the Internet a title you can get in-game? Yes, that's, a, that's something that you get in-game. I got them from a collector reserve, yeah. <laughs> and there's a clip. Chad, how many swarms do they have in their hand? Three? Okay, Magic, you're way too late. <sighs> well, this sucks. Against Dracula, no, no less. But I haven't seen a, um, Apocalypse at all. I feel like... I'm just gonna save myself the trouble here, because we're gonna get, like... <laughs> uh, eight on the left? Wow! No, no, no. Okay, let's let's map it out. So Mystique goes over and actually gets minus one power and then doubles that. Yeah, that's that's really sad. Sometimes you just got to keep retreating until the hand makes sense. Is Dracula in Marvel? Yes. They are. Mr. Negative. Paging Mr. Negative. Why do, Why is it when my deck loses, it's always you three in my opening hand? 
If you Invisible Woman on Weir Island, you don't get the bonuses of the plus one power on the face down cards, right? Can't play cards here after turn four. I guess I'm not playing any cards there. There he is. I don't think I snap on this because Iron Man and Blue Marvel and Mystique are here. And we just got Sandman. This, I'm trying to figure out what the hell this deck is. My opponent do be snapping. I'll forfeit one extra cube to see what's going on here. But yeah, Sandman, Sandman is probably a loss. Um, this is the second time we've been Sandman, but only the first time we've been Sandman by somebody who actually put it in their deck and didn't just get randomly fed to them. We don't lose anything by sticking around one more turn. I am Iron Man. I do have initiative, which is unfortunate, because I would love to drop Shang-Chi right there. I also would have appreciated a cheeky Mr. Fantastic Mystique to try to tie Kiln. That would have been really nice, but Sandman just kind of kind of took that one out. Escaped. We'll never know what was under that. <laughs> we won't be able to look at the combo. Not paying the two extra cubes. Just draw better. I'm working on it, okay? I'm trying. People still play Sandman? They do now, yeah. Was it Omega Red? Where they, uh... Is Omega Red 5 and then Onslaught 6? Dude, Mr. Negative. Jesus. Let's Psylocke New York and pray for Mr. Negative. Well, no negative chat. So sad. He might still show up. He's got one more turn. Hitting Mystique with Nakia is good. Hey, my boy. Probably want to keep some space available in the Nexus. Mr. Negative has a negative 100% chance to start in your opening hand. I think that that's probably true. <laughs> what have you unlocked with tokens so far? So far, I got... Okay, so is this a Hella deck? Death is going to come back somewhere. The good news for us is if we can just win Nexus by a lot. I have two options. I can either win Nexus by a lot. Or cut New York. If I cut New York, it stops them from freeing up space on the Nexus. It gives us some time to win it. Because they're probably thinking they're just going to be able to move. Indeed they are. Alright, so now we snap. And I don't have to count. Victory. They were going to retreat anyways once I played a couple of cards to Nexus. Anyway, 
guys. Uh, tokens so far I have gotten... I'm on the fence as to whether I should get them, but I think it's always a net positive to get Series 3 cards with tokens. Uh, but so far I've gotten Captain Marvel, which I haven't really made a deck with. I just have... I've been wanting Captain Marvel for a while. And then I got Arnim Zola. But I still would like Wong before I make an Arnim Zola deck. So, still hanging out. Uh, Gar Garolf, by the way, thank you for the seven-month sub earlier. And I think I saw Y2B shears already, but thanks, Garolf. And Bungle Grub, hope you're enjoying the Absorbing Man game. Even if you've lost every game with them so far. <laughs> A one-cost card from my deck, how generous. What's the deck idea for what? Wong and Zola? Negative Wong and Zola in Black Panther. Do it. But yeah, I haven't gotten to make a deck with... Um, I don't really know what I want to do with Captain Marvel yet. Dude, Marvel Mug! There they are, the heroes. Everybody acknowledges this is the best MCU movie. Of course, I have to have the mug. Chat, the hood? Oh no, are we gonna get Galactus? I just assume when I see the hood now that we're gonna get Galactus there. But we, sw okay. Let's see, if they Psylocke and or... Galactus is still not off the table. Galactus is still not off the table. I don't know if I can beat Galactus. Okay, Galactus incoming right. Galactus is going to be here. I know this trick. They're not going to get two cubes. I'll tell you that much. I don't have any way to stop it. It's coming, chat. It's coming. It's insanely telegraphed. But they're also going to swap hands on turn six. So the question is... Ah, here we go. They just drew wave. Get a demon down. God, I, if I get Galactus a few more times, I might actually spin tokens to get a Polaris deck going. Because, like, my, f I think the best way to counter Galactus at the moment is to run, the dis like, a Disruption deck. The problem is I can't... Okay. Were they... Hmm. I'm confused. They can still Galactus, but usually you save Magneto, don't you? Because they just opened up my Galactus spot. Maybe they didn't draw Galactus? Possible. Neighborhood Spider-Man here. Yeah, this is absolutely a Galactus deck. They just didn't draw Galactus. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't draw Mr. Negative in my Mr. Negative deck, so we're kind of just like both up a creek right now as it happens. Because, like, I can't beat Death Right. They definitely had. They, did they even destroy anything, chat?
Like, is Iron Man better here for the left? Because I have minus one. I only have two left, and that loses to Wolverine. I don't know. It's only two cubes. <laughs> Bruh. So many things! <laughs> oh. So many things. Hello. Hit me. I win. <laughs> Sometimes it's worth sticking around just to see what happens. That was a game. Of all of the Marvel Snap games, that was one of them. Galactus versus Mr. Negative neither shows up to the party. Angela just saved our bacon on the right because... Just getting plus two from Sarah, plus two from Blue Marvel, and then plus three to all these guys. It had ups, it had downs, it did. And we were blocked out of limbo. I'm very happy with that. But yes, that was definitely one of the games. I got green gobbed, I got hob gobbed. And you know what? They switched sides to the winning team. That Magneto actually did save us, yeah. <sighs> Negatives here. Best thing that can happen is we don't draw Iron Man till turn five or six or seven, if we can get magic. Oh snap! What up, Weeby? Weeby's back for 15 months. Thank you for this, up, Weeby. Hmm. Cards here have minus one power. Not a fan. I don't mind the key on the left. This one gets a 25 minute breakdown on the second channel. <laughs> that it does. Okay, so we Cosmo is just gonna hang out mid while we... I hear you, Cosmo. I know, he's barking. Um, I don't know if I wanna lose another power, but I can't take up all that space. All right, they either have a Sarah or a blue Marvel. They just copied with White Queen. We're hoping for magic. That is not magic. However, it is an answer to Throne Room. Possibly. So I'm okay with that. <sighs> Chad, is this just Blue Marble? And then Mystique and then Shang-Chi? It's gotta be better than Sarah, right? Do we Blue Marble mid? Good call. Dodge Devil Dino. And they have initiative. It's even better. Where were you? Where were you? Go get him. We actually tie right, but I lose mid. <laughs> 26. <laughs> Arnim Zola, Devil Dino. Um, it didn't kill White Queen. It killed the Devil Dino instead. Because White Queen dodged Shang-Chi by getting uh, unthrown roomed. She was temporarily the queen of the throne room. Devil Dino showed up and put a stop to that party. And then uh, Mr. President get downed, saved White Queen. Uh, what happens if... I don't know. There's a lot of what ifs. Where do you see initiative? It's whoever's name is glowing. Uh, whoever is leading the game, whoever is currently winning has initiative. So sometimes it's correct to not play a card on a certain turn to let the opponent start winning so they can flip their cards over first. Playing Agatha. <laughs> if they're not playing Agatha, I'll be very disappointed. But yeah, I wasn't expecting Arnim Zola there. 
I have never seen this skin before. The eyebrows upset me. Those are some brows. The eyebrow lumps. <gasps> Thanos chat! It's a Thanos deck! And they have Angel. The Space Stone. They draw a card. Next turn you can move one card from this location. We get to see him. On stream. Do I get to have him? No, because he's not going to show up in my shop. But it's almost seven. Time Stone! Draw a card. Next turn you get bonus energy. Thanos is coming, chat. They're, I don't think they're playing Agatha. I think they lied. I don't want Mr. Negative to get even more negative in Necrotia. And of course we have Iron Man, Mystique, and Blue Marvel already. It's kind of a losing hand. That helps, but it also helps them. It also helps us, so I don't know who helps more. Probably them. I think we'll go ahead and play Angela now. And then Sarah on top of that. Turns out we don't need our magic. Who do we want to draw? I think we want to draw... Shang-Chi doesn't have a target right now. Bishop's a little slow. Naki, yeah, uh, we don't have very good draws, do we? All the best draws are here. The Soul Stone. And they're going to blow their stones up because they probably have death as well and they want to clear space. But they haven't played the Power Stone. So Power Stone still has to come out. Before we're very afraid of Thanos. Alright, Bishop. Throne Room is probably a dodge. Like, we definitely want to dodge. Uh, Psylocke here is okay. I think we just Psylocke over to Throne Room so that we have space. And then I have four energy left. So I think we just go ahead and blue Marvel now. on the left-hand side and kind of see what they do. I don't, like, I haven't played against Thanos, uh, but maybe one time and he didn't show up, so. Kind of need to see how this goes. Are they getting a copy of death? Because they don't have the power stones, so maybe just two deaths? Okay, so remember, nowhere is on reveal effects are blocked. So if we want to Mystique Iron Man, we have to Iron Man first, because he's ongoing. Then Mystique over here. And then we just play Magic for more power. And hopefully that beats two death plus whatever else they play. I am Iron Man. Bishop also is getting chunked. No, I'm Iron Man. There's one death, two death, Quinjet, and Bucky. GG. I'm Iron Man. No, no me. Victory. Iron Man confirmed stronger than Thanos. But anyway, we, like, Iron Man should always be played after Blue Marvel in this deck, in my opinion, because Blue Marvel doesn't look so scary, but Iron Man looks very scary. Um, and the best way to win an extra cube is to save your biggest play for the last play. And having Iron Man Mystique, even if they're not affected by Mr. Negative, is still a really good final punch. Cards here are not revealed until the game ends. Mm. Chad, where is my boy? We got another one in seven to draw. I don't think this is correct. You gotta have a rule. You gotta stick to it. If you draw negative turn three and you didn't Psylocke turn two to get the extra energy to play him, you'll feel really bad. 
You just feel really bad. You'll feel really bad, okay? S you'll feel super bad. Just draw Mr. Negative. It's easy. Quick, quick. Gotta get the snap. Almost forgot. We have a really great uh, deck to draw from. Like, we don't have Iron Man. We don't have Blue Marvel. We get extra draws. There you are. I do want to stop them. Do I care if Mr. Negative dies? <laughs> he served his purpose. He's about to get blown up by Hala. But would I rather stop them from getting two card draw? I think I want to stop them from getting two card draw. Let them grovel for cards. No. There will be a seventh turn. Does magic middle extend the game in a surprise bonus turn? No, I don't think so. Because cards are not revealed until the game ends, so the game would be over. Just per the wording. Okay. Um, you guys can come out now. Iron Man, you can... You can come out. Does him dying stop his effect? No, because it was an on reveal. So you'll see that they're still buffing. Okay, Blue Marvel is acceptable. We seem to play Blue Marvel last so that Mystique can get the copy. <sighs> We're definitely just kind of avoiding Dark Dimension for now, I think. So I'm thinking... Oh, goodbye. Victory. Maybe they just didn't like their draws? All right, chat, I'll be satisfied if we just hit 95 tonight because <laughs> I have been bouncing around at 93, 94 for so long. I need to, I'm still learning this deck a bit, so I probably am not snapping and retreating when it's good. Got a pixel variant out of my first gold cache. How are you so lucky? Chat, can we? There's no way. This will be the fourth time that we draw Mr. Negative turn four. But again, it would just feel so bad if you failed. I've done it three times. So I think, just statistically speaking, we are an anomaly. And we should just embrace our incredible fortune and draw Mr. Negative! Next turn. Okay, next turn. Well, it's okay. It's okay. I don't like Nita Veiler. It's a spooky place. But I also don't like Throne Room against... Okay. Mr. Negative said no. This is a very sad retreat for us. Oh, hurry. Goodbye. Escape. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They're trying to get an extra cube for Galactus. <laughs> Probably. Nope. Not gonna happen. Galactus is um, tough to play around for me right now. Basically, I can only mitigate my losses, which is all you can do in any game. Because uh, every deck is going to have archetypes that they're extremely good against or extremely bad against. You have actually helped me, Black Widow. You've actually helped me. Because that's... M 
Okay, it's turn three, right? <laughs> it is, uh, again, it's Galactus again. Chad, it's Galactus again. If they don't snap, then we stay. Or, wait a second, maybe we're actually getting, um, loot caged? Might be getting loot caged. Escaped. The toxic deck, possibly? Hazmat? Hazmat loot cage? If you snap, I slap. How many A without table snaps have we had today? Ooh, Space Throne. Um, I do have the hood now. If I had... Damn, I really hope... Chat, um, what are we praying for? Okay, in the shop tonight, in 42 minutes, we're praying for either Lockjaw or She-Hulk. Either Lockjaw or She-Hulk. Uh, at least we have Mr. Negative. But yeah, that definitely wasn't Galactus. That was probably Hazmat. Ooh. Spicy. I gotta start getting some value from this. How much money did you spend on the game? Just curious. Uh, well, overall... The, the short answer is I don't know. But the second answer is I've spent... More money on cosmetics than I have on progression. So if you're only counting money that I have spent on strictly progression, um, I have spent the first $10 season pass, the second $10 season pass, and then I sprung for the uh, 7,500 gold um, cyber holiday deal. So probably close to $110 so far. Uh, totally optionally. I would say that I would have been fine just being free to play. Or or at least like a dolphin, as they're called, with um just the season passes, but I've I've just got to the point where I was like, I'm playing this every day and I just wanna play with different decks. Okay, um Daredevil's gonna do some shit. <laughs> We're gonna keep losing Weir Island value, but I don't know if that matters. We just have to get magic down on Space Throne. That'll open up Space Throne. So if they end up Professor Xing either location, we still have plays. Space Throne, we're also blocking Hobgob from Space Throne, which is convenient. If they were, they're peeking at my play right now with Daredevil. So you get to see my play before they play. So we're expecting either Professor X, Hobgoblin, or Gamora. Chat, what is... Am I about to get galactus It's got Electro and Wolverine. The Wolverine is the, is the what the hell is that? Because Wolverine flips. It's either that or She-Hulk. Like, I got Galactus Paranoia right now. I have Galactus Paranoia. Electro 2, so he gets destroyed, yeah. Um, where do we think Galactus is gonna go? On Magic? Instead of Strange Academy, so I have fewer plays, maybe? Just, just passing. I don't know what the hell's going on. Because <laughs> they can only play one card. 
because of Electro. So, what? Are they just gonna try and flip the giant Wolverine over? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Infinite, they can't play more than one card. They can only play one card. Galactus would be funny just because it'd be seven plus three. So we should make, sh make sure we have at least ten power in each location, I think. <sighs> Chat would do. I don't know. They can just have my cubes. The Galactus, isn't it? I am Iron Man. I should have had faith. It's gonna be Galactus. I am Iron Man. I should have believed. I knew it. I should have, every time I go for the 200 IQ play, I lose. This is why I have Galactus Paranoia. I could have beat 10 mid. <laughs> ben Brode, please, you gotta nerf Galactus now. He went too far and destroyed all of the second dinner servers, man. Way too powerful. Nerf that. All right, next time I'm going with the 200 IQ. I, I tried to go for 100 IQ. I should have gone for 200 IQ because I could have won that. So many, how do so many people have Galactus already? I guess they had a complete pool three collections, so it's much narrower. All right, I believe, chat, do you believe? Turn three, Mr. Negative, coming up. Well, rank is, this is like 94. Hot single Galactuses in my area. Absolutely correct. Chad, is this the same person or a different person? Because we're about to get Galactus again. Or not. I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Shuffled into Mr. Negative, winning. We would be winning if we drew... Um, Our good friend. Hmm. Where to go with this? Our good friend Magic would have been lovely. I don't understand what the meta is <laughs> right now. Why would you wave? It's, there's no way this is... Why would this be Galactus? This isn't Galactus. This is... Okay, if you wave without destroying anything, you can She-Hulk, but Galactus doesn't win here. I have initiative, unfortunately. Okay, I'm already winning mid. <sighs> Damn. 
chat. Game's too hard. I'm just gonna lose left. I'm gonna lose left in mid, but they can only play one card. Right? I'm so confused. Okay. I don't know what's going on. This is, I knew it wasn't Galactus. It was just... That was the final turn, chat. There was no Galactus then death. That was the last turn. See, that's the when you're overthinking things. <laughs> I want to try playing some um, Cerebro as well. I was hoping to get a few more cubes with this first. How about we just switch decks when the t token shop resets? I think that'll be a good idea. Uh, all right, Angela, you go left. Chat's trying to gaslight you into thinking everybody has Galactus, but everybody does have Galactus. That's not, it's not gaslighting if it's true. That is a very expensive bishop. We'll see if it's worth it. Moon girl? What are you moon girling? I guess we're gonna find out. I got, I get to pass. Now I'm the one passing. Mr. Negative? Never heard of him. Now he has two Galactuses. What is he gonna do with two Galactuses? Two sunspots. Chad, am I gonna get double Infinati, Infa, Hulked? Also, this is just a retreat, to be honest. I f Dream Dimension just ruined that. Like, I can't play, my five cost card is six, so I can't play magic. So just out peace I tried making a terraform deck with quake scarlet witch rhino storm etc I'm now about 10 ranks lower than I was <laughs> that'll happen with quake and also um, snapping too many times and not retreating oh that's a telltale sign of a galactus deck right there that, that's a nightcrawler left on turn one that's galactus 100%. Just gonna avoid Shuri's lab since I don't get a bonus with Angela anyways. Chad, they just took Galactus from the bottom of my deck with Cable. It's okay, we're gonna get Mr. Negative. This is so sad. Alexa. People arrive. Galactus? Do you have Galactus Rapid Recline? This Galactus, is he in the room with us? <laughs> Galactus Move Deck. Galactus Devil Dino Deck. They now have either Magic or Blue Marvel, courtesy... We've been seeing a lot of White Queen going on. Hey, he's here! At last! On turn four, no less. We have a ch we have a chance. Just don't draw. Well, actually, we can draw Iron Man now. Yeah, Iron Man right now would be lovely. And we dodged Cosmo. Magic to extend the length of the game. I do love that effect. What does Galactus do? If he's your only card in a location, he destroys all other locations. That may be my Sarah. Hey, the boy. He has arrived. That Iron Man on Shuri's lab is actually kind of disgusting. <sighs> I 
I like Bishop Wright. Blue marble mid. I feel like we're gonna end up needing more power mid. I don't think we even play for Shuri's lab, to be honest. Um, maybe Blue Marvel Wright's fine. He's ongoing, not on reveal. But let's Bishop, Bishop here, Blue Marvel here. Opponent, what are you doing? Are you snapping on me, opponent? Oh, you copied the blue marble. Snap. Okay, um, they snap, I snap. They snap, I slap. Wait, no. Okay, Iron Man's on reveal, so he goes right to dodge Cosmo, then Mystique mid. Gets buffed with the blue marble. Bishop's also getting buffs. And then we just Shang-Chi on Shuri's lab in order to try to tiebreaker. It's pretty good. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Big dino. Not that big. Wait. N now it's big. I am Iron Man. But you know what's bigger? <laughs> uh zero six Iron Man. I am Iron Man. No, I am. Pew pew! <laughs> I went and left because of Shuri's lab. <laughs> Excuse me. Whew. Victory. Thank you, Shuri's lab. There are some cubes, chat. Oh, we were so thirsty for cubes. It had been such a desert. Hey, look! Mr. Negative is doing what it's supposed to- Oh no, my secret is out. They know what I can do now. But the question is, can they stop me? Run it back. You gotta. Empty leader and I get Iron Man? Yeah, that's... I might still lose, but eh, let's not... Let's not stick around longer than we need to, yeah. Chat, we did it! I hit 95. That's my highest rank this season. Only five more to go. Exclamation 95. I only got like four days. You just need more eight cube games where I'm actually winning cubes and not losing cubes. I don't think I'll be too upset if I don't hit 100 because the main thing I just wanted was I was tired of playing the same deck. Like I felt like I was pigeonholing myself into, um, oh my god. You gotta. Psylocke into Mr. Negative turn three. Gotta bet on the hand, even if you lose. <clears throat> uh, I was pigeonholing myself into just playing Death Wave, and I was just getting bored because it just felt sort of stale. So getting the recent influx of cards that I got uh, was very much worth the investment for me. Just don't play Mr. Negative to nowhere. How much longer is the season? Like four days. And then the new season pass will start, and Silver Surfer will be introduced. And uh, with the addition of Silver Surfer and the new season... Ooh, Agent Coulson! Add a random 4 and 5 cost card to your hand. Gib.
Um, there will be a new card added to Snap every week. Six cost cards cost one less. Um, do we want that? We don't have any six cost cards. So perhaps we nerf their ability to use six cost cards? It's clobbering time! But yeah, um, those cards will go into the Series 5, I think, first. There'll be one a week from now on. So there's going to be a lot of new Snap cards for a month, when there was one a month for the first two months. And of course, we just had like 15 or 16 new cards just added. Sarah is ongoing and can safely enter nowhere. Me too. Uh, what will Surfer do? Surfer will buff the power of all of your three cost cards. Um, chat, what's the number? Is it a plus three to all your three cost cards or is it a plus four? Can you zoom on the Sarah variant? It's a cool variant. Okay. Um, I think we want to get... Angela first. Then Bishop. <sighs> then... Save Blue Marvel for like a finale, and then like fantastic Nakia. Leave some space open for plays. We're both gonna be playing a lot of cards, so. Oh! It's Nick Fury and Agent Coulson and Quinjet. So, Chad, if my math is correct. They should be able to still only play one six cost card, because it for them it should be a four cost card. They can play one six cost card and one five cost card, because it'll be three. So they've got quite a lot of power. I'm not sure if we have them beat. But damn it, chat, we're gonna try, okay? I snapped, so I'm the one that's losing the cubes here. We were this close. Wait. We were this close. <laughs> So Mystique is actually a really good counter um, to leader because Mystique when copied doesn't actually get the benefits of copying in this case the blue marvel. However, what is convenient for us, uh, the reason why we were so close is we won the left by 9 but we lost the right by 13. So we are really only off by like 4 total there. Um, I still take that bet again because it was definitely close enough, but the, the ideal draw there probably would have been Iron Man. That being said, they would have gotten the Iron Man, so who can say? Thank you for the credits. Leader seems like such an unfun card to play against. Yeah, Leader sucks. <laughs> I don't know. I could say like, oh, well, he's balanced and get good, etc, etc, but you know what? Frick you, leader. One more point mid. Swap blue marvel with Mystique? I couldn't, because Mystique was blocked by nowhere. So I was not able to do that. Chat, one in seven. I don't want to take the one in seven, even if it's correct. Because I just want to get Angela out first. And then we can Psylocke into Sarah, turn four, if we don't get the boy. Okay, we didn't. So, yeah, that's a that's a decent Psylocke into Sarah. Negative zone doing minus three power as well. So they have Vibranium.
It's an exciting time to be a snap lord. Does everyone agree that's what we're calling ourselves? So snappers is out. Snapling is out. <sighs> I think we Sarah right. I don't know. Minus three power is rough. I can change minus three power, but it might be better to change vibranium mine. Snapples. Snapling. Uh, snappy. Snap lords. Hello, Max Rockatansky. Thanks for the two month sub. Welcome back. Also, Joe Bob. I'm sorry I missed you a few minutes ago for a four month sub. Thanks for priming with Weeby. Much appreciated. All right, getting an early Sarah out is quite nice. But we still don't have Mr. Negative, so I am not snapping. I am not snapping. I do have to magic now. I think we just played a negative zone. They passed. Chad, I don't think they've destroyed enough to get Death and She-Hulk, right? They passed with five energy, so She-Hulk is one. Uh, their Death should still be seven. I think. Unless they just pass again. That's a possibility. If they pass again, I'll be worried. Um, we should definitely give them priority, if possible. So, the only way to give them priority is to not win left or, or mid. As long as we don't win left or mid, and we don't win right by too much. I think we get Blue Marvel right. Oh, Mr. Fantastic is going to screw me, huh? How about Bishop and Blue Marble? Are we still... We might we might get initiative. I don't know. I, I'm surprised they didn't pass. Vibranium! <laughs> oh, there is She-Hulk. Okay. It's a tough cookie. Wait. That's pretty good, right? At least it can at least it uh contests. Math is hard. Who needs it? Oh no, Nova, you're too strong. That's that's like a poor man's blue marvel. Yeah, we definitely don't have 24 mid without Iron Man. So close, chat. Off by three. Sabretooth and uh, Surprise Nova is pretty good. Why not Mr. Fantastic mid? Because I wanted more power left than mid. But yeah, I mean, if you look at it now, it looks like I'm... That obviously would have won us the game, or at least tied it. Um, I, Like, yeah, if I swap these, I might win by like one point. But at the time, I wanted to... They didn't have anything left. So I was just hoping that they would focus on the other location. And then I would have a little bit more power than them left. I think it was 50-50. Uh, well, Chad, I hope you enjoyed our brief stint at 95. <laughs> uh, good news is 13 minutes till token shop reset. There's Mr. Negative. That's okay. We we've been doing like eight cube swings. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Adelon, do you hate fun? That doesn't matter.
I'm gonna shuffle in anyways. So. Just gotta draw them again. It's easy, chat. If I draw magic, then we're really in business. Oh no, it's Omega Red. Omega Red is if you're ahead by 10 power here, plus four to the other locations, they'll probably onslaught on Omega Red. And there's not a damn thing I can do about it. Except contest it, I guess. Oh no, they're gonna Iron onslaught Iron, Iron Man and <laughs> Omega Red. Those are not the cards I want. Iron Man would have been good. Iron Man would have been great, actually. Um, so we just, like, what are the odds that they got Onslaught, too? I don't know. Not worth sticking around. Reasons why Enchantress is good? Excuse me. Why are you running Enchantress when you could just be running Super Scroll? Super Scroll wins there, chat. Or just Galactus. It's easy, yeah. Ben Brode would have Galactus there. So that's the good thing and the bad thing. When Mr. Negative is working and firing all cylinders, you basically automatically win. Um, when Mr. Negative decides to be a little cheeky, I think we snap here anyways. Oh, snap. It's a good hand. Uh, maybe destroy your deck. So we're probably gonna get Professor X'd somewhere. They pass turn two, that's not good. It's good for us. I really hope they got a copy of Mr. Negative. And they're like, what do I do with this? I actually do compete with them with Warpath. I wonder if you actually stick to... I guess Warpath is bad if they block Hellfire Club, huh? Okay, I think maybe we keep it as a little our little secret, chat. Just keep it as our little secret. So if they do want to Professor X mid... I'm gonna go ahead. All right, they might Professor X left. If I were them, I'd Professor X left here, yeah. But if I wore Path, I also get 18, but then they get an extra four points over me and I can't beat that. So we just have to concede throne room. I think I'd go ahead and get Angela out and then toss magic on Daily Bugle, get Professor X'd, pew! And then they'll probably end up Destroyer mid. So we just need to beat Destroyer mid. Which means I need to draw Iron Man! That's not what I was looking for. Okay, um, I have to win mid and right, which is incredibly obnoxious. I know Mr. Fantastic is going right instead of mid because I want more points mid because I feel like they're going to destroy your mid. And we have to try to play for it. I think best our best play now is Iron Man. We just need to draw Iron Man. He's a one in three. Avengers! Assemble. Maybe they don't have Destroyer? Either they don't have Destroyer, or they're being cheeky about where he's going to go, or he can, he can still go mid. What 
Well, Shang Chi, you have met your match, haven't you? <laughs> that is unfortunate. Uh, Mystique even would have been okay. Mystique would have been reasonable, but not ideal. <sighs> Feels bad, chat. You just have to assume that they have it. There's no way I can get 15 points mid right now, right? Let's just do the math. Okay, so that is... Bishop goes to 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 18, plus 4 is 22. I go to 22, I believe. And that's it. And then I lose. I'll just take my two cube loss. Escaped. Even when you can see what's coming, it's still hard to win. As I slide back down to 94. Is it time for card shop yet? Opponent was playing like they had Onslaught, which probably lowers the odds we can win. Yeah. I've been losing to uh, some unfortunate scenarios because I've had some fantastic hands and just been losing anyways. Like, I've been getting... I've been getting um, Psylocke into Mr. Negative. I just assume turn one snap is... Galactus, but probably not with Cable. <laughs> well, that is spicy. That is spicy, chat. They may have gotten a copy as well. <laughs> Which will be funny. What do you reckon they're using Mystique on? Devil Dino or something else? Just Devil Dino Mystique? I can have three blue marvels. <laughs> <laughs> or three Iron Man if I draw Iron Man. Iron Man's still in the deck. Well, they won't have that much use for Shang-Chi, will they? Okay. Uh, this is kind of neat. We get a copy of our 0-2 Angela. And then we kill cloning vats before they can copy anything. I'm sorry, Mr. Devil Dino. I am aware that you also have a mystique and that I am incapable of drawing Iron Man. Um, okay. In theory, Angela is probably scarier than Cable, but they do have Mystique. Just make sure we play the Blue Marvel last. And it's not impossible for them to have another Mystique. So we know that they have Shang-Chi, but they also have Initiative. So I think at this point we probably just don't snap to try to get more cubes, because I really, like, should win this. And if I don't, that's okay. But we have a lot of power mid. Because we have 2 plus th 4? 2 plus 4. So we have 6, we have 20 to 2. And we're very much winning left. So let's just see what happens. Victory. Uh, 
If I were gonna snap, I actually don't know if I would. I don't know when I would snap. Or would have snapped. He sensed Shang-Chi. <laughs> Maybe he's like, what did he get a copy of earlier? <laughs> what did he get a copy of? Okay, um, this is a good hand if we get Mr. Negative out by turn four, because these are the low cards that we want to have in our opening hand. We want Blue Marvel, Mystique, and Iron Man to stay back. We do, we do want, oof, we do want magic, though. Well, we got <laughs> we got magic, but at what cost? Wind aid my hand. They want to play. Let them play. Come on, X Mansion. Give me the goods. Oh, Viper, Viper versus debris. Mr. Negative, where are you, dude? Where are you? Chat, I don't even know if you compete against this. But we're running out of space here, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chuck it down just to see. Face the might of okay, so they can meal near later. Do we just ignore the vault? And just not play anything there? What is better turn six? Is it Sarah, Blue Marvel, or Iron Man? I think it depends on if we draw Mystique. If we draw Mystique, it's probably Sarah, so we can then... Adam Warlock. Mr. Negative, get the hell out of here. You bastard. What are you doing here? We just gotta pray. I don't know if Mystique wins. I am Iron Man. I don't know if Mystique wins. Token shop! <sighs> it's probably bad for us, you know. I think we retreat. Definitely losing right. Escape. The reason why I retreated is because if we Iron Man left, we have 24, but they only have to put something with six power and then Ant-Man powers up. Um, and then Mystique mid is four points. <laughs> and then double blue Marvel is not enough to beat Iron Man. It's shop time. I'm going to the shop. Show me some bad variants because I have no gold. We got Pixel Hawkeye. We got a pretty cool Swordmaster. Oh, there we go. And we've got Disney Squirrel Girl making a cake. Blue Marvel plus Mystique wins right unless they had the hammer. Possibly. Buy cake. We got Pixel, Venom, Chibi, Heimdall, and a uh, cool lizard. <laughs> uh, I might consider getting the Squirrel Girl one. I'd consider it. All right, now the big moment. Come on, it's Shuri. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's cool. It's a good card, but I'm not spending 6K. I gotta wait eight hours. 
Ah. So sad. It's a good card, though. Double the power of the next card you play. I also don't have Wong, so I'm missing some setup there. You don't need Wong. You can do Shuri, Black Panther. Chat, I could get Shuri into Black Panther into Zola. Say, screw Wong. I don't need you anymore. But then I spend all 6,000 of my 7,700 tokens. I just don't want to lock... I think, I think Shuri right now feels like she slots into a couple decks. Where I'd rather get something like She-Hulk and some Series 3 cards. And or Thanos. Like, I... I, I guess it'll even out over time. But I really can't imagine, from the statistics standpoint, that many people are, are shelling out 6k for any card that's not Thanos or Galactus. Mostly Thanos, probably. Maybe I'm crazy. So I guess that'll even out as people who want Thanos and Galactus get the one that they want, maybe? She-Hulk is 3k. She's in Series 4. And uh, most, of, most if not all of these will be demoted from Series 5 to Series 4 to Series 3 over time, and they'll get cheaper. I shelled out 6k for Valkyrie, but I am a weak man. Yeah, sure he's not deck-defining. I agree with that. What makes Shuri interesting compared to Wong is that Shuri is doubling the power of the next card you play regardless of where you play it. Whereas Wong telegraphs exactly where you have to play. So I think for that reason, it's very interesting. Got M'Baku in the shop? I'm sorry, Lieutenant Matt. <laughs> sorry to hear that. Okay, chat, let's take a quick gamer death break. Um, I might get the Squirrel Girl variant, but I want to change the decks up and play with a different deck. So we have a few options. I kind of want to just try some Cerebro and just see what happens. Though I don't think it's going to... We've been hitting enough Galactus that I feel like this is probably bad. I wish I just had Polaris and I would make a Disruption deck to try to stop... Cere oh, I guess Goose does still stop him. Your request for a GDB has been denied. Too bad. Helicarrier here, Valkyrie, Maria Hill. Maria Hill seems like a good card, but it's just not the first 3k one you want, right? Okay, I'll be back in just a minute, chat. While I'm gone, we'll play some Cerebro when I get back. Cerebro's gonna be fun. Nice change of pace. Listen to this, I'll be RB.
Thanks for waiting. What up? We back. Chad, how are your games going? Regardless of what you're playing. <laughs> Hello, Gamer Deathbot. How you feeling? Yo. I'm playing bad snap decks and losing. Oh no. <laughs> Poorly. Bad. Ah, <laughs> Chad is losing too! Oh good. Alright, so this is the deck we're gonna be playing now. Cerebro 2. So the key here is your boy Cerebro. He's gonna be a bro. And our highest power cards will get plus two. So the goal is to have all of our cards be the same power, more or less, minus, of course, Cerebro, so that they can all get the bonus of the plus two. And then we can copy that with Mystique. And we have various cards that sort of play to that. Iceman has two power. Nightcrawler has two power. Daredevil has two power. Goose has two power. And is actually a Galactus counter, if we can predict where they're going to play. Mr. Sinister has two power. Chat, look, it's me. But not me. The boy Cerebro. Mystique, very important. Brood, I just got this card, so pretty new. Add two Broodlings to this location with the same power. Excited to play with this a little bit more. Mr. Fantastic is also two. It can give us some power in hard-to-reach locations. Such as Storm. We can create our own hard-to-reach location. And Hobgob is something that goes to the opponent's side of the board. Therefore, it won't interfere. And we can also hopefully land it with Daredevil. We can see where it can fit in. And then we got Blue Marvel as a secondary win condition to hopefully, if we don't get to Cerebro, which I feel like I actually have never gotten to Cerebro Mystique yet, and like maybe the first 10 test games that I did with this, then Blue Marvel is sort of our secondary win condition. So we have some similarities to the last deck, but it plays very fundamentally different. So let's see if we can eke out uh, some wins. It's sort of difficult with the current location. The featured location makes us a little... Certain locations are going to make this more difficult. Uh, anything that affects the power of our cards makes this more difficult. So... Sorry, I pushed the wrong button. My bad. Uh, we got Muir Island here. After each turn, give cards plus one. So we want to avoid that unless we can change it with Storm. Midas just casually burrowing. Yeah, he's he's getting getting cozy. Oh, let me change the deck. Boop. There we go. All right, deck updated. Ongoing effects are disabled here. Well, that does limit our plays. We're just hoping to draw Storm so we can play to Muir Island. Otherwise. I wonder if it's right to just go ahead and goose Monster Metropolis and the Nightcrawler right. Opponent snapped. Okay, I'm willing to give you an extra cube to see why you're snapping. Perhaps I will find out this month. Galactus already? <laughs> Chad, Galactus already? Well, Goose blocks Galactus, and Hobgob sort of counters it. Do I keep Nightcrawler? Yeah, I think you keep Nightcrawler and then Blue Marvel Mystique. Peekaboo. It was death. Not Galactus, but we did- we made the right play anyways. Huh. 
Hobgob does make things a little bit more difficult for them. So they're just going to arrow whatever we play over there. Okay, uh, we can get around that. It's kind of a sad turn, but it does get around it. So if they pass, they actually win. Cerebro can hit himself now. That is that is correct, yeah. Um, if they pass, they can win. I'm, I can win one location for sure, right? I can win one for sure. Can I win two? Because ideally... Um, I have to Mystique Storm, because if they pass, then Monster Metropolis is taking the points away. So yeah, I think I lose. Because, um, <clears throat> since the cards with the highest power here get plus three, if they just don't play here, and they don't play anything that's larger than two, then they basically auto win because they kill my Cerebro. My Cerebro can only buff the highest power cards. Uh, so when we were Island and Monster Metropolis were working against us, and maybe I should have just retreated earlier, but it's only one cube to find out what happens. I was hoping it was Galactus, because we probably actually would have won there. Or at least it would have been funny to throw Hompkop into Galactus. But that's one of the things that does make this deck difficult. <laughs> it does have some issues fighting against locations. And you just have to fold them earlier, I guess. A naked carnage? Okay. I don't know what's correct. I don't know if there's any Cerebro players in, in chat. If Adelon is about to shuffle your hand into your deck, do you just go ahead and chuck down Cerebro before it goes back into your deck? Or do you just continue to play for points? Because it's, it's tough. <sighs> Tough call either way. I can neither Rhino nor Wanda locations with Cerebro because I uh, can't put three power cards in the deck, otherwise they will absorb Cerebro's power. So that does make things more challenging. Okay, so we're planning on brooding left. We won't be able to hobgob on turn five because of dream dimension. So I think we've just Mr. Fantastic. <sighs> Maybe just start Nightcrawler left. And we can always move him. So we definitely don't want Mystique now. What we want, I think, is uh, Blue Marvel. You are far too late, Daredevil. Uh, we could still use Blue Marvel in the final turn. I think I'm just gonna Nightcrawler here. I could just leave Nightcrawler and Brute right, actually, and that's fine. That way I can keep Nightcrawler's move. He can only go left or mid, but... Alright, Brood is 444. No! <laughs> Yondu! What the hell, Yondu? That was a turn 5, 2 energy Yondu demon? And you killed a blue marble? What are you thinking? What are you thinking, mate? Goodbye. I... Victory! Okay, well, I'll take my cube. Thank you. Mm, a cube. 
Mmm, thank you. Delicious cube. I don't know when to snap with this deck. I haven't played it enough yet. This is like only my probably like double digit game, I would say. So I'm still trying to figure out when I'm in a winning position. I think winning position is the, the perfect design, I think is Blue Marvel turn five and then Cerebro Mystique turn six. And you probably snap before you put the Blue Marvel down. It feels nice to get the Ice Man though. Because usually I'm the one getting ice manned. Do we give them a Mr. Sinister? Or do we take our chance? Snap! <laughs> okay. Uh, who's snapping in my chat right now? Peepo Snap. Thank you, Parkside, for the tier two snap sub. Oh. Warrior Falls. Mm, yes, hello. Maybe we just make them... <laughs> Chat! Parkside, why did you make my opponent snap? It'd be funny if they played something that was less than four, though. Not quite. Ding, ding. Yeah, it's probably not good. Turn five cards cost one more. Does Dream Dimension hate fun? I never get to play my turn fives because we keep getting Dream Dimension. I think that they do hate fun. Oh no, and I got in. <laughs> Perold is running the anti-fun deck. <laughs> and I can't... Uh, well. F. Escaped. I'm doing this for Cerebro Science chat. We'll get there. We'll get there. Brood, you need to be rare. You need to be 3D. Dream Dimension is probably my least favorite location. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not fun get, you're getting your whole hand ice manned for a, a full turn. Throne Room is a bit tough here. I, I, I tend to goose on Throne Room, but I get punished if they're playing Death or She Hulk. Ah, <sighs> what do? I think we just stick to it. Cerebro decks are constantly on the very thin line of life support. <laughs> More or less. I would agree with that. Alright, so let's just go ahead and just... Victory. Goose is simply too intimidating. If you see Goose come down on Throne Room and you just concede, that's a very responsible thing to do. I know this is really dumb to say, but for some reason I feel like it's too easy to surrender in this game. Well, you're wrong, so. How does it feel to be wrong? The snap and surrender mechanic is uh, probably the actual best thing about snap other than its deck building. Capabilities. Do you Mr. Sinister on curve? We're gonna move all cards one location to the right, I guess. What is Goose's effect? Goose uh, prevents your opponent from playing cards that cost four, five, or six. Or anyone. It prevents you and your opponent from playing cards that cost four, five, or six at that location. I need to get, like, a card bot for the chat. Well, I'm about to be punished by Bifrost. But before I am punished by Bifrost, I will get a small... a small sample of extra energy. Chat is your card bot.
Well, we're definitely countering Lizard. I think if we draw Cerebro, do we snap here? Or are we already losing? I don't know, I'm tired of playing for one cube. I'm tired of playing for two cubes, chat, all right? I need more. If I lose, I lose. Snap. This deck is definitely capable of winning some cubes. Brood right? Absolutely not. Bifrost is about to push all of our cards to the right. All right, we dodged Gamora. We now do not have an extra energy. Too late, Daredevil! <laughs> I would have liked to have known what you were going to do last time. Okay, so we brood left and we Daredevil mid because Nightcrawler is still capable of moving and shifting out somewhere. Gotta keep Lizard on his toes. Okay, so do we beat an Arnim Zola on Black Panther? They're going to get 16 and 16. I think that we definitely beat 16 right. Because we'll be able to Cerebro Mystique. That's going to give everyone plus four. Wait, we, do we just... Four, that's going to be 6, 12, 18. That's going to be 24 right. And like some number left. <laughs> Arnim Zola, eat Panther. The correct answer was 20 left. Okay, so we lose mid on purpose and win right. There we go. We did it. We got to turn six Cerebro Mystique chat with a full board. That's the beauty of uh, Cerebro deck actually working like it's supposed to and not getting screwed by locations or other cards. You just gotta know when to snap. We had a good turn six play. I haven't seen a Cerebro deck. You have now, Feng Shui. This deck is unstoppable under a very specific set of circumstances. <laughs> well, I was going to say I'm looking forward to saving Goose, but I've decided not to save Goose. Anyone who has this avatar, I automatically assume is about to Galactus me, okay? That's just my working assumption. Oh, Xandar. Get out of here, Xandar. Damn, he bought the $100 bundle? Hey, so did I. <laughs> I just don't have the avatar equipped. But it's not, excuse me, it's $93? Thank you very much. Okay, I don't think that we're going to be able to do. I think we just have to give up. Do you pass? It's passing correct here. Wind, aid my hand. Twitch needs a Hearthstone overlay thing. I believe that they're working on a lot of stuff like that. They're working on a PC port that's not just the iPad version for sure. Um, Chad, do you just storm flooding? Is that dumb? What did they put here on Wind turn four? My hand. What are we concerned about turn four that needs to be hidden? I can still play here because we refreshed the storm. Daredevil actually does something. Dr. Octopus. But what is that? Oh, 
Oh, Goose, you just blocked my hop gob. <laughs> I didn't play Goose there, for the record. Uh, I don't know if hob left is good, but it's also not bad. It's the only play, but I could blue marble... Chat, isn't... Don't you think that blue marble brood mystique is better? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna peace out. I think I'm too restricted. <clears throat> I believe I'm too restricted. Because this is gonna be 10 power. That's already a lot. And they put a mystery card on turn four. And I'm not winning mid. And I can't play anything right. Wasn't feeling comfy there, so I'm just gonna take the one cube loss. And reset. Maybe the card before is Cosmo? That could have been a Cosmo. Could have been a Cosmo or a Ebony Mall. Go ahead and get Daredevil down on Energy Curve. We have Cerebro Mystique. Which makes me very confident. Chad, I'm thinking about just doing a turn five snap. <laughs> because I have Daredevil and sometimes it's just a free cube. I don't know. Maybe. We need to keep two spaces open here. Iceman might just stop some nonsense. My problem is I actually don't have space for everything now. <laughs> uh, because two blue marbles is pretty good. Do not brood Sinister London. I am not brooding Sinister London. Uh, if they kill Munger, that's actually best case scenario for us. If I do this, it's not a good play. I'm passing. They're not killmongering them. Now I get to see the next two cards that they play before they play them, right? That's how two daredevils works. I think. I'm not an expert, but I think they have to play two turns. <laughs> two turns worth of cards. Okay, it's wave. Stinky wave, chat. Stinky wave. That kind of uh, messes me up. I think I want to force a blue marvel, right? They haven't snapped. And they've destroyed two cards, which I think is enough for them to double up on wave. I mean, to, sorry, double up on death and something else. Yeah, I have to I have to retreat here, I think. I mean Cerebro's not the worst thing in the world, but I can't beat two deaths and two mystery cards. Escaped. Wouldn't Cerebro instead of Marvel give you more damage? Probably. There was a reason. Turn 5 Cerebro, turn 6 Mystique. I still didn't have any space. 
copying cards is good as long as you have room to copy more. Hmm, I've seen too many of these avatars. I don't remember. One of them did play Galactus. That's a good spot for Mr. Fantastic. No, it wasn't this one. <laughs> Are they just amazed that Mr. Fantastic went mid? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Oh, wow. No cards are revealed this turn. Okay. If I'm gonna goose... Where am I gonna goose? If I'm gonna goose... This is deja vu. I feel storm mid incoming. They usually want to storm somewhere else because Captain Marvel can join in on the fun. If you pass turn three, then you can play She-Hulk on turn four and have one energy left over. I can't think of a different play, but that's certainly one of the plays. Shuri. And I get to see where it goes first. Are we going to get to see a 6,000 token or I guess an extremely lucky cash reserve opener? Or somebody who has spent maybe $600 to open caches. I don't know. Maybe. It's possible. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I wish I had $600 to spend on caches. But Chad, I'm going to need more charitable donations, okay? Now that you've given to actual charity uh, with Doctors Without Borders, this community raised $35,000 for Doctors Without Borders. Uh, they do need to have some time to recuperate those losses to support the stream again. Okay, so they're just going to double up Red Skull. Chad, do you Arnim Zola after this? That seems risky, right? That's going to be a 30 power <laughs> Red Skull. He's going to Taskmaster mid. Oh, yeah, Taskmaster is a thing, huh? Yeah, they're going to Taskmaster. Storm, where were you? Definitely not Zola. Probably Taskmaster. Escaped. <sighs> Time to switch to Cerebro 3. <laughs> so I can play Shang-Chi. I'm trying to think. Goose? Yeah, Goose was right. Goose is not getting the job done. Also, uh, thanks again to Parkside <clears throat> for 50 months of sub. Much appreciated, Parkside. Airless Warfare as well for eight months. Howdy, Airless and Anonymous. Thank you for the five. Hi, oh. A new sub for your collection. Good, while you still can. You know, being a sub's not so bad. Get that guy. I was going to say silent gift sub, but they are not silent at all. Tyrannus Rex, are you serious? Distro, Zuka, and giant alien spiders. Enjoy your gift subs. Thanks for hanging out. I got it, man. It's I don't like Iceman, but you got to understand he has two power. Therefore, I have to use him. Chad, I can fix it! <laughs> Finally! Storm can change the unfavorable... Wait a second, it's gonna be X-Mansion that screws us over, isn't it? What do I change here? I think I change X-Mansion. Wind, aid my hand. Mr. Fantastic mid. I don't know if this is right. I feel like I'm still figuring out how to play this deck. But that's also one of the things I love about some of these cards. Like Cerebro was definitely one of the cards I wanted most. Um, I'd like to play with some Patriot. 
I'd like to finally get Lockjaw. Like, Lockjaw is actually my top pick. I just need to wait for him to appear in the shop. I like the cards that make you change how you think about playing. Next turn, Brood Vault. Brooding Vault is good. I was considering just hobgobbing Xandar. But yeah. I don't know. It's tough. I can't do everything I want to do. I think it depends on what else comes out of Lockjaw. <laughs> this is why it's tough. I'm doing pretty okay with the Patriot deck and it's fun. Hey, nice. What does Cerebro do? Cerebro is a build around card where your highest power cards, plural, get plus two power. So in this case, I've elected to make my highest power cards two. They can be up to three um, collectively with Blue Marvel. And then if they're all like two or three in this case, Cerebro buffs all of them. And then you can copy Cerebro's effect as well. Chat. That's nice. Um, snapping into Daredevil is fun. <sighs> if we just math this out, right? If I brood left, I'd have to draw Mystique. I have a 1 in 5 to draw Mystique. It's not very good. But that's at least... That's only 8 power. <laughs> it's only 8 power. It's my best case scenario just hobgobbing, right? Widow's Bite, and then lose an extra cube next turn. We'll just lose an extra cube next turn. Hmm, there's Wasp. So Sunspot can still win them, right? Um, if they pass, they win. <laughs> no. <laughs> if they pass, they win, chat. That's all they have to do. Pass with six energy. Sunspot gets up to plus, uh, plus six. They're gonna be winning six to three. No, they no 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 no. All they have to do is brood right, right? All they have to do is brood right. Nobody can play anything. Just brood right. Right? Am I crazy? Okay, I'm crazy. I sometimes brain no work so good. You just gotta give me a second to think. I wish I would have stuck on that screen a little longer because that was a fun win, actually. I was, for some reason, I was thinking I had to Cerebro, which I did not. Um, and that was throwing me off. But that's why it's okay to rope your opponent occasionally because your brain needs to process all of the possibilities. He's snapping on Death Domain? Escaped. Let's just cut that short. I didn't have a particularly good hand, and I don't really have any way to change Death's Domain out of the gate. Didn't even want to see it play out. No, no not particularly. Just didn't even feel like messing with it. <clears throat> okay. I actually like saving Goose. We've been Galactus three times tonight? Or was it two? Two or three. And I'm starting to figure out how to tell if it's Galactus. So Goose would be nice to counter that. Well, we're going to be moving Nightcrawler now. <laughs> we will be moving Nightcrawler. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with playing Brood on Curve here. If you always escape turn one, you'll never lose eight cubes. Chat. 
The wave turn three? Did I already... It's... Is it... It's all... We, we, have we already lost? Is it Galactus again? <laughs> oh, no. Is it? How do you even... How do I protect against this? When it was not. Is it Agatha? Hand. Wave Agatha? Giganto? Okay, that's not what I was expecting at all. All that panic for nothing, chat. Okay, what if we just... Mr. Sinister, right? Mr. Sinister, right? And is Cerebo correct here? In case you draw Mystique? What is correct here? Because then we can still blue Marvel? I don't know. Jubilee? That's illegal. Classic. <laughs> How come everyone else gets to Jubilee Infinite? Mom! <laughs> That's not fair, Mom. I mean, I lose mid, so I just have to retreat again. Chad, how many cubes are we down now? I'm gonna say that some of these are probably misplays on my part, but also it's kind of, it's a little rough. I don't think we're down that much. We're down like four cubes. Just being whiny. It's, it's easier to be whiny when you still haven't hit infinite. When you crest infinite cubes, literally don't matter anymore. Favorite card from the new update? I mean, my favorite card from a thematic standpoint is just Thanos. I know that's a basic answer, but... Probably from a utility standpoint, I would probably say She-Hulk. I think those are pretty common. You were 95. Yeah, but I was 94 at the start of the stream. But like 93.9. I meant how many cubes am I down with this deck? Because we were at 94.3 uh, when we finished with Mr. Negative. Why, yes, I will pass again. All the new cards. Yeah, all the new cards are really interesting. Imbaku is the coolest. How can you say something so brave and yet so true? Storm right to try to take out Throne Room. Because it is getting in the way. Wind aid my Coolest hand. new card, Morph. Yeah, Morph is the best new card, for sure. <laughs> uh, Chad, if you are a Professor X enjoyer... Probably just gonna go. Hmm, where are you gonna go? Left? Mid? Opponent snapped. Okay. We're probably gonna get. Professor, I guess Professor X mid destroyer left. And they have initiative, so my hobgob won't fire off of danger room. So I'm actually wondering if Goose left Cerebro mid 
Is there any way for us to get enough power to beat 15 left? I'd have to get... <sighs> Why does every scenario feel like I'm losing? Um... I think I'm losing this, but let's just play it out. Well, it wasn't Mr. X. And it's not... My other friend. Maybe they forgot about Nightcrawler? Or maybe they're just gonna Doctor Doom? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this seems winnable, right? They're gonna Spectrum? I guess they're gonna Spectrum. What gives me more power left? I guess Mystique, let's... What gives me more power left? Is Blue... Oh, I can't play Blue Marvel because of Go Goose. So that's gonna be 6, 12, 18. And I lose to Spectrum. Because they're going to get plus 2, 4, 6, 8. They're going to have 25. i got to be 25. Can I win mid somehow? That's a 12-point swing, but Lizard... So let's see, 6... 10, 13, and I have 4, 8. I think I lose by 1 mid. Math is hard. Let's, let's do the calculations after. Alright, let's do the calculations. If that noise goes away. So let's assume that they spectrum mid. <sighs> Lizard will go down with my full board, minus 3, so he'll go down to 2, but they'll get buffed 2 from spectrum, so he'll stay at 4. Colossus will be at 5, so that's 9, plus spectrum is 5 is 14. So they'll have 14 mid, and I'll have uh, the plus two from Cerebro, the plus two from Mystique, is <clears throat> two, four, six. I think I'll have 12 mid. Okay, let's hypothetical that I don't Mystique and I Blue Marvel instead mid. If Blue Marvel doesn't get killed by Danger Room, how many points do I have? Uh, I'll have four, eight, 11, 12, 13, 14. I feel like I have exactly 14 with Blue Marvel mid. Is that right? Because Mr. Fantastic goes up to 5. Nightcrawler goes up to 5. Blue Marvel's plus 3. Yeah, I'll have 14 mid. So I think we tie mid. And I lose the tiebreaker. So I think I lost. No matter what. They should let you pause. They should let you pause. I think I made the right call jumping out. Hobgob plus Nightcrawler was 16, Mystique 12. Spectrum could have died to Danger Room, so could whatever I played, yeah. So if I Hobgob to be minus 8, they have 5, but I don't lower um, Lizard's power, so Lizard goes up to 7. Colossus up to 5, that's 12. They have 17. If I don't lower their lizard's power. Because my hobgoblin would go over to their side and stop blocking. Oh no, chat. I'm in danger. Math is hard. Yeah, math is hard. But it's useful to think um, all of that through. I'm not sure if Mr. Sinister to Hala is better, because I can move Nightcrawler out, but I only have six, and they could just smush all of it with a couple plays. I definitely feel like we're losing 75% of the games, and I'll, I'll say, like, 
Um, probably a third of those are due to my own lack of game knowledge. But that's part of the fun, is figuring out new decks. Finding the different strategies. But Cerebro is a really fun card when you can get it to fire on all cylinders. Oh no. I'm playing against a hazmat deck. <laughs> I'm playing against Luke Cage and Hazmat. Well, guess we won't be using Cerebro anymore, will we? Monster Island says no. I had a chance to pick up Luke Cage. Seems terrible to me. Um, in the right combination, almost any card in Marvel Snap is not terrible. Some of them are less usable than others, depending on the circumstances. Okay, this is the setup. So you Wong into Hazmat. Someone's been watching Jeff Hoogland's videos, I see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would actually recommend watching his video to see how to make Luke Cage work really well, actually, in a hilarious fashion. Luckily, I have done my homework, and I'm not gonna lose more than a single cube for this. But yes, they Wong into Hazmat, possibly into Odin, with Luke Cage jumping in there with Hazmat, probably. The, honestly, Luke Cage is one of the cards I want the most. Unfortunately, I don't have the rest of the cards to make that deck work really well. I think I'm missing like five or six cards for the listed one. By the way, Law Baldwin out. Thanks for the fresh prime sub. Much appreciated. If you send him Hobgob, he can't send it back. <laughs> Yeah, Hobgobbing left is pretty solid, actually. I think I'm waiting for them, right? Yeah, I'm waiting for them. Is Luke Cage 3 or 6k? Ooh, what is this? There's the hazmat. They're gonna Viper Typhoid Mary over to my side. And then the demon? All right, here it comes. <laughs> Typhoid Mary, hello. Thank you for lowering the value of all of my cards. That was so nice of you. So... They haven't Luke Caged yet. They can't play Odin and Luke Cage. Because Hazmat's on reveal. So what's the win condition here for them? I guess... Like, Odin... I think you win by passing. Do I? I, don't, I just kind of want to see this, so I'm willing to just... Find out what happens, I guess? He do be... He do be coming back. <laughs> okay then, GG! <laughs> That was so dumb. I love it. <laughs> oh, that was the Hobgob special. I'll take that. That was the best two cubes I ever earned in my life. Odin um, activates the on reveal abilities of your other cards at this location, but Wong makes on reveal abilities happen twice. So if Hobgob's on reveal as your opponent gains control of this, then it remembers 
that is activated twice and it activates once and then again. And then Odin gets to go again because of Wong. He goes there and back again. It was a good tennis match, yeah. That was just a really expensive Titania. Negative 14 as well. And so every time that Hazmat was triggering, the key to winning against Hazmat is have fewer cards on your side of the board than they have on their side of the board. So if I had played to Hala, anticipating Odin there, then I'm, I'm losing collectively negative, 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 negative. Like if I played Brood over there, we'd be in the negatives. Well, that was fun. Also have them not draw Luke Cage. True. But Luke Cage is not an... Uh, it won't take things back. It'll only prevent things that happen from that point on. Because their cards... It works retroactively? Does it? I would only assume that it works from the time that, like, it is played. Pretty sure it's retroactively? Hmm. I haven't played it, so I'm not the authority. Are we just playing Mr. Sinister to Mojo? Okay, well, I guess if they don't draw Luke Cage, then... That's pretty crazy that it would work retroactively, though. I believe you. I just need to look up the wording on the card. Um, <clears throat> Shuffle five rocks into this deck. Do you hate fun? Luke Cage, ongoing. Your cards can't have their power reduced. I, I guess that makes sense. But also... Like, English is so ambiguous, right, that that could very easily mean can't have power reduced anymore, not can't have had their power reduced. So, but, but it makes sense. What do I do with all these rocks, chat? This sucks. I should have put them um, in flooding. I think I already lost this game because of Subterranea. Luke Cage deck is fun, but it seems like losing every time you don't draw. I can see that. Can't have reduced power would be much clearer. Uh, yeah, that does. That seems reasonable. Are we losing this? Where did it go? Oh, okay, it's coming back. No! Bye-bye. <laughs> Moon Knight, Escape. you bastard. Go back in the deck. Chat, only, only I am affected by Subterranea. That's like this the subtext of shuffle five rocks into your deck. There's a typo, it says each, but when my opponent lock jaws, they get the card that wins the game and they don't have to play any rocks. But I draw two out of five rocks. Little known fact. Why are we facing each other? I'm 42, oh, drum punk, what's up? GG. Uh, I have been playing... Here's the thing. Despite what the developers have said, there is a top for collection level matchups. And the collection level does not give a shit at a certain point. I am getting matched against people with significantly more cards than me. Um, which is, you know, it's fair game. Yeah, I, I can make competitive decks with what I have. But I've been getting matched up against other streamers who I know for a fact have collection levels in the five, six, seven thousands. Um, 
Collection level matchups seem like low priority compared to apparently some hidden MMR and or your actual rank. But it definitely seems like I would say it takes a backseat to the other two because I don't think that they considered my collection level at all. Seen a lot of green gobbos lately. Does make my life harder. Opponent snapped. Um. It's not great. Hello, Galactus. He's gonna Galactus mid, right? It's Green Goblin, Electro, all the signs point to Galactus mid. Escape. This is how you play against Galactus. You retreat. All right, Cerebro. I think I'm done with you. He snapped so you could stay and see? No, I want him to have spent 6,000 tokens to not see the animation. Goose would have saved me in that. It's like, if I couldn't predict where they're going to play, I can do something about it. But there's, there would have been no way to predict that anyways. Because it was a 50-50 on where the duplicate landed. Plus, they had two bonus energy. So they were... It was, we were going into turn five, and they had seven energy, and I had two spots or three spots to play on the board. So that just wasn't going to happen. Okay, at this stage... If I storm here, then we're basically saying that we won't blue marble, I guess. It's also possible that Los Diablos ruins the storm spot anyways, so I'm just gonna play there. What do you think they'll compensate empty caches with? I was fortunate and didn't get any empty caches with about 350 to 400 collection level. Ooh, Maria Hill. Add a random one cost card to your hand. I want that. They get two. I have no idea. I'm, I'm just hopeful that they can actually keep track of it. Is it, I think, is Daredevil better than just Mr. Fantastic? I don't think I need Daredevil right now. He might be useful. What were you supposed to get in them? Um, oh, you might just get what you were supposed to get in them? Yeah, I, I hope that's the case. Because, like, Alice, for example, got a couple empty caches, and when you are opening, not the collector reserves, but the collection level 500 to 1,000 ones, you're supposed to have a pity timer of, like, every third cache should have a card, roughly. And I think she had like four or five caches with no card because one of them was empty, so it may have been a card cache. So I am hoping that that is um, the case. That people would just get whatever they were supposed to get. Chat, I can't hobgob Kamertosh. Because <laughs> hobgob just comes back. So hobgob's just going to hang out, I think. Sure, I've been haven't been winning any cubes with this. So 
so go for it. Because Professor X doesn't win. Um, a 5 7 win. I mean, a 5 12 wins. Oh, it was Arrow. So they can move Nightcrawler out. Um, Funk Emoji. How much power is that? So that's... Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen to eleven doesn't seem very good, does it? Seems kind of stinky. Let's just forfeit four cubes. We almost won, chat. Did we? Come on. Math is hard. <laughs> Math is hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, what did I say? What did I count? I was count I was miscounting. I need to go back and do this again. Okay. So Blue Marvel is three. Plus four from Cerebro Mystique, right? Okay, so that's seven, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 from Mr. Fantastic. Okay, so no, I, I did count correctly, but I forgot Mr. Fantastic was giving me two bonus points. Yeah, that's what it was. I knew I was forgetting something. I'm glad I stuck around there. Uh, leader is actually the thing we're strong against. We're quite weak against something like Galactus. Um, we're quite weak against Anything that messes with our side of the board, like Green Gob, Hobgob. But we're very strong against Leader. All right, we're back to 94. We're just kind of breaking even, which is fine. If we're playing Cerebro, I'm breaking even. I'm okay with that. This is more experimentation than anything. I'm trying to see how this deck works. It's technically only my second uh, time playing it. It's probably correct to get Nightcrawler of Shuri's lab value. I wasn't sure you'd win. Yeah, I don't... It seemed like a stretch. I see what you did there, Nog. Hello, Nog and Grugan Monsquad. Get a superpower, Daredevil. Oh, Cerebro. Nah, we're not playing Cerebro this time. We're playing Blue Marvel Mystique this time. Because we're damned anyways. Uh, Murder World would have killed me if I played here instead. Monster Metropolis. It's all... It's all bad. Storm here probably doesn't do much. What if I just power them all up, chat? Ah, uh, where do we want to storm? Not there. Wind, aid my hand. Let's just reset the board here. Can anyone tell me if Galactus is worth 6,000 tokens in the shop? Yes, buy it now. Buy it immediately before it goes away. FOMO, FOMO, FOMO. Pin it for six months until you can afford it. You will win every single game you ever play with Galactus in your deck. Confirmed. You will be the highest ranked player in Marvel Snap. FOMO, <laughs> FOMO, FOMO.
Alexa, purchase Galactus. Confirm. Do we daredevil there just to storm? I mean, if you think it's if you if you if you think it's gonna be fun, you're the only person who can say if it's worth six thousand tokens, right? I let Thanos rotate out today. I think if Thanos shows up, I will FOMO Thanos. How dare you? Wind, aid my hand. Okay. Um, chat. We're going to get really strategic here. We're gonna block the hell out of this non-existent. Galactus. Okay, they just got a hobgob. I have a feeling we're about to trade hobgobs. Hopefully we just made it cost six. I can't tell if you guys are serious or messing with me. <laughs> we're messing with you. You have to evaluate how many tokens you have. Would you rather have six, pull three cards? Uh, Chad, do people who play against Daredevil know that if they snap before they show me their card, it's no different than if they snap after they show me their card? Are they aware? Or do they think like, hmm, what if I snap, then play, then in turn, that Daredevil player is gonna be locked in, baby. I have no idea what's happening, says Poo Time. Well, I think you need to go to the toilet, based on your username. Ah. <sighs> so what are we looking at here? Are we looking at a destroyer, right? And they're blocking Hobgob with Cosmo. Chat, we have a non-zero, ch we have a 50-50. Do you believe in 50-50s? Of Grand Central taking Hobgob away from us. I think we actually play Cerebro here. Snap on him. Come on, Hobgob! Go middle where you belong! Never lucky, chat! Never lucky. They got Hobgob! No! How dare you use my own Hobgob against me and I don't even get to draw Mystique or uh, Blue Marvel, which might actually have a chance. Unacceptable. Now snap on him. Escaped. Such is life. They had three cards in hand, so they won the flip, I lost the flip. So sad. I'm not done with this deck yet. I got, I'm gonna ring it out a little bit more. Cerebro mid, I only had five energy, and to the two cards that I had were three cost each. So there's no way I could have blocked the hub. Now nobody gets to see... <laughs> Chad, do you retreat here? <laughs> Monster Island. God. Cerebro is a mental exercise that you have to do.
<sighs> are we? What are we? What, what's going? What's coming down on wave? What's coming down on wave right now? I was hoping for Galactus. I doubted it, but I was hoping for Galactus. That's a good way to get around Goose. <laughs> that is a very good way to get around Goose. Yeah, I lose. There's no way I'll be able to get more than eight power on Baxter building, actually. All right, have we suffered enough Have we suffered enough with Cerebro right now? He's struggling a little bit. I was gonna laugh if you discarded Cerebro. <clears throat> Ongoing effects are doubled is pretty damn good for us. And we have Cerebro Mystique chat. I'm just gonna say, let's do it. We dodged Sokovia. We're not gonna get another nine power monster over here, okay? We have Brood to Brood right. It's all gonna work out. <sighs> That's okay, right? We don't really need to rush. Wind, aid my hand. No fun allowed. Fun is canceled. Plus Nightcrawler. Not so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad. So we actually have 12 left with just Cerebro Mystique. Uh, they may have Doctor Doom or Captain Marvel or something like that. I think I like Goose mid. Iceman, right. Actually not that scary. <sighs> Zola? I don't know. I've seen Devil Dino get Zola lately. I have seen Devil Dino get Zola. So I don't think it's out of the question. So she has 612 left. I think we just keep everything as it is. If we get Zola, we get Zola. I, uh, it's weird, Chad. I've been playing quite a bit of Snap. If I see two Devil Dino Zolas in one night, I haven't seen Devil Dino get Zola ever up until tonight. So if it happens twice, I'm going to be a little shocked. Oh, they can't Zola because Goose is blocking. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Victory. We're back. Goose OP. All right, we win, we continue. I believe in this deck. It's a, re it's a rematch. They know. They, <laughs> they know the secrets. But 
but they didn't let me play my combo. Which is mean. We can fix that. <laughs> it comes up so much! How does it come up this much? Like, this is- it's every two games. This one in two games Monster Island, dude. It knows when you're specifically when playing my hand. the deck that does not need it. I know! Thank you! Thank you. You understand. Angie. There you are. Okay, well, we're still doing pretty good, actually. That was a good draw. We gotta switch to Cerebro 3 so we can run Viper <laughs> and give it back. I don't have Viper, sadly, but Viper seems like a really fun card. I've been loving Rogue in my ongoing deck. I think Rogue um, is a card that I would like to play with, too. I also don't have Rogue. It's very sad. Okay, um, they're just gonna copy Mystique, which I think is fine. Are we playing, where are we playing here? We're we playing Blue Marble Mid? To maybe dodge Shang Chi. So they have a copy of Mystique. I think they know what's coming. Maybe they can still win. Blue Marvel still wins flooded. Blue Marvel does still win flooded. And we're getting another two, four, six, eight. We're getting, we're putting 10 power down right. Uh, we're putting 15 power down mid and we're winning flooded. So we're actually in a pretty cool spot in spite of monster. They're probably just doing math right now. Has a thousand hours in Marmal Snap and doesn't have all the cards. It's really hard to get all the cards in this game. Um, even if you spent as much money as possible every single day, it would probably still take you around a month and a half to get the full collection if you spent the maximum amount of money every day. And that's with constant playing. Victory. Realistically, I should have snapped before playing Blue Marvel. But I was already sort of... I feel like I was on my my back foot for that game. <sighs> Do you know what fixes this? Do you know... <laughs> Where's Bost? Is it, wait, is Bost the one that fixes this or Valkyrie? Wait. Another anti-cerebro location, yes. Move deck. Do I still have the page open? Yeah, set the power of all cards in your hand to three. Boss would actually correct for that, and it would be amazing. Oh, Boss would be so fun in this deck. Where are we going? Where are we dropping? Um, I think you storm right against Craven. Wind, aid my hand. 
wind aid my hand. No aid my hand, wind. No mine. Jack, we're about to not be able to play <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> uh. We're running out of space. Do we play for left or do we play for right? I feel like I have to at least win my own flood zone. This token shop's driving me nuts. Galactus last night, no more variant today. Ooh, Titania. My first time seeing Titania. Okay, well, they're definitely losing right now, and we can't play left. So what the hell are they going to do? But yeah, if it makes you feel any better, Skippy, when you see cards in the token shop, you won't see them again until it goes through a full rotation of cards you haven't seen. The other nice thing is, chat, if um, you don't look at a card every eight hours, because it refreshes every eight hours, it'll remember your selection. So, like, for example, let's say Black Widow's in my shop tonight. Or, uh, Shuri is in my shop tonight. If I didn't look, Shuri... Did they pass? Did they just pass? If they didn't look, then Shuri just... Oh, God, I can't think. It stays in there until you actually see it, let's say. Titania Mind Games. Titania Mind Games. Because, yeah, Cerebro is worse. So... What do they do? I don't... I understand that Titania comes back. I think you need to pass? If I pass... Uh, Titania is weird. Let's just watch. It's only two cubes. If they snap, I leave. Because, like, I think they just play one card, and then Titania comes back and they win, and that card could be uh, Heimdall. I think Heimdall is the best because it gets them a squirrel over to Flooded, and then wins with Titania. But don't I get to keep Titania? Oh. I lose by one. <laughs> okay, there's no way they math that out to lose by one. Because what if it picked Brood? Wait, no, it's a three cost. Oh shit, no, yeah, it would have been a squirrel, guaranteed. But what if it picked Iceman? If it picks Iceman, I still lose. All right, yeah, no, it was a good plan. I have done the math. I wasn't expecting Polaris. I just wanted to see how it ended. <sighs> Chad, I'm never getting to infinite this season. With this kind of play. I gotta retreat, but I wanna see how the game goes. You gotta pay the, the learning toll, unfortunately. Brew to Oscorp on purpose to give them a bunch of two power weenies. <laughs> uh, that's probably not the play. Maybe just kill Asgard. But then I end up losing temporarily. Wind, aid my hand. What does passing do? 
you don't play a card and you hit in turn. So it does what you think. Strong guy? What does math do? Gives people headaches for no reason. Okay, so if they manage to empty their hand, which is slightly harder now with Iceman, a uh, strong guy does win the mid. What's the advantage? In passing in a card game, there's... Is everything is situational. Sometimes you have a key play that you don't want to play right away because it might get more value if you wait. For example, if my only play was Mystique, Mystique has a prerequisite of having coming after another card, so I don't want to play Mystique, so I might need to pass. Giving away initiative can also be an important facet, depending on who you're playing against. What we got? Scarlet Witch and Bishop. Okay, I think... Just Hobgob to the left. Best case scenario is actually just drawing Cerebro here. Damn, you've been broed. Chat, they have four cards in hand. They got Scarlet Witch to go to Flooded. The only way I can win mid is if I Mr. Fantastic Mystique. And then I only have, I'm winning four to six. And they're, they got a Bishop as well. Oh well, let's see what happens. Maybe? They still have one card so Strong Guy doesn't get to level up. <laughs> Donk. No! Strong Guy! <sighs> what, this is a secret discard? What the hell? Is this a bot? What the hell is this deck? Scarlet Witch, Angela, Lizard, Strong Guy, Blade, Swordmaster, Bucky? My opponent just swapped Dex mid-match to become a discard destruction hybrid. Whatever, cards are cool. I refuse to believe that. Sarah discard miracle? What is even in it? The normal... I don't know. The only version of it that I can find has Debris, Green Goblin, Mojo, Mysterio. There wasn't... I didn't see Sarah, so... Doesn't mean it wasn't there. No thanks. All right. Oh wait, I forgot about Stark Tower. Well, we're kind of boned either way. Because <clears throat> I was going to just switch this up. Is it better to switch this up and just dodge Muir Island? Because this will go three, four, five, six. That'll become four. And they pass when turn three. My hand. Just 
Just get Goose down. And we got Nightcrawler that can shift over to Flooding. Blue Marvel won't have anywhere to play, but we're just hoping that we draw. Mystique instead, I guess? I don't know. Stuck between a rock and a hard place at the moment. Odin! More Jubilee! And Vision. Wowee. Strong Vision. Oh yeah, Strange Academy's just gonna move everybody, huh? We are really... in a bad way. <laughs> Cerebro's not going to do anything, is he? Opponent snapped. <sighs> All right, I'm done Cerebroing. Escape. I tried, but there's so many locations that I can't I can't I can only flood one of them. There's often two or three locations per match. And a lot of monsters. This was my experience trying Cerebro as well. Yeah, I mean, it's fun when it works, but it feels like one in four games that you actually get to do the combo. Valiant effort, thank you. Uh, let's take a look at some maybe deck building. Uh, what did I get recently? I got Falcon, brand new. Just picked it up. I like the logo. Enjoyed the show as well. Falcon and Winter Soldier was cool. Hello, Mary Skipper. Howdy. I just got Arnim Zola from the token shop. Is it weird that I only just now noticed that these are hands? I thought these were horns. And now I... I thought these were horns. I never looked at it. I guess I never zoomed in, because from a distance it just looks like horns. Like when the card is small. Because the purple, purpley hands are sort of hard to see. My mind is blown. Those totally look like horns, that's what I'm saying, yeah. I want to do something with Captain Marvel, I'm not sure what. I'm really enjoying Mr. Negative. But I would like some other friends to go with him, like Wong. Because I want to do Arnim Zola, Mr. Negative. But I don't know how viable that is without Wong. It might be viable. We could try, we could try, I guess. It's not going to be as fun. Because Wong actually goes in there pretty well, huh? Because Wong becomes a 2-4 with Mr. Negative inversion. Chat, with Mr. Negative, does Odin become an 8-6 or a 6-6? Six, six? Captain Marvel is generic and cool. I play with Storm and my best friend Spider-Man. I think that's reasonable. But what happens when you Storm turn 3? What do you do with Spider-Man turn 4? Or do you... Because if you, if you save Spider-Man for turn 5, do you just play Marvel turn 6 and you're just playing off curve? Kate Dandy says 8-6, which I think is my experience. I think it becomes an 8-6, though I might be wrong. Because I feel like I seen Alice try this, and we were like, oh, it becomes unplayable. That's surprising. Mr. Negative doesn't work like peak. I'm pretty sure it stays costing eight. I think you're right. I think you're right. Okay, let's instead then go for Black Panther. Um, White Tiger. Comes a one five with a with a tiger. It's not bad. Mm, who else? Man, this deck would really benefit from Wong. Because, <laughs> like, White Tiger gets so much better with Wong. Arnim Zola gets so much better with Wong. 
Black Panther gets so much better with Wong. All these on reveals. It just feels like I'm hobbled a little bit. Okay, uh, who else? Let's unfilter these. Still Iron Man, right? Still Iron Man. Just got Super Scroll out of a cache? You are incredibly lucky, Reflect SB. That is uh, exceedingly rare. Congrats. Well done. Uh, I forget the, what's the catch rate? What's the Pokemon catch rate on caches? It's like 0.25%. Literally one in hundreds of caches. Because finding a Series 4 in a cache is 10 times rarer than a Series 3 in the cache. And then a Series 5 is 10 times rarer than that. So, um, one in a hundred card pools? should be a series five and there's only 75 cards in pool three so you can't even pull 100 cards in pool three <laughs> add jubilee <sighs> my fear with jubilee is if i don't get mr negative i lose that's what's kind of nice about the other mr negative deck is you still have cards you can play on two threes we have three threes a four. Two fours. I put Shang Chi in. Shang Chi's been doing okay. But yeah, we only have top end is four five cost cards, which I think I want to keep kind of the same. One, two, three, four. Four cards, five or above. We gotta be able to win without Mr. Negative. So I can't go all in. Angela is probably still good because she becomes a 0-2 with Mr. Negative. And let's just put something down. Psylocke, of course, is probably staying in this version of the deck as well. If I can track her down. Where is she? There you are. Ah, uh, then what? Are there any other consistent things? Bishop is probably still... Okay, Mystique? Yeah, I forgot Mystique. I want a cool Mystique skin. Chat, where's Mystique? Brain not working. I literally can't see it. There we go. Morph is a little too inconsistent for me. Beast because he's cool. No. Can I recommend Uatu? <sighs> Uatu just seems bad even as a 1 3. Morph is just a free card, not if you have him in hand before Mr. Negative. At most, we can get four free cards, or four Mr. Negative draws. That's if you play Psylocke on turn two, Mr. Negative on turn three. Oh, magic. Yeah, we need magic. So what I need right now is probably um, something else at three. I did like Bishop. Bishop is a, is a card that you can just chuck down. Card that shuffles your hand back into your deck. I, you, you want me to play Crystal? That's bold. Are we going to make Crystal the new mana? <laughs> you worry me, chat. I <laughs> Nakia actually has slightly more energy in this ver or synergy in this version because of Black Panther. I agree with that.
And then another four drop would be good. Oh, look. It's crystal. The shuffled in cards don't get retroactively Mr. Negative. That is correct. Because you shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw three cards. It's entirely possible that you could draw the same cards. If Crystal was even changed to shuffle your hand into your deck and draw three different cards, I almost wonder if that would have better playability. There would be a small change that makes a big difference. I don't know if that's good, but it's certainly better than it is now. The thing about Crystal is... I think that is not a great pick. However, you can almost... Okay, here's the thing, chat. In a perfect world, you can't play Moon Girl very easily. Because you're going to Mr. Negative on turn 3, usually turn 4, so you can't Moon Girl turn 4. Turn 5, you need to be playing Magic in an ideal world, so you can't play Moon Girl then. Turn 6, you have 6 energy. You need to be playing your... Black Panther, Arnhem's... I mean, it depends on what's inverted or not. Jane Foster? Yeah, I don't have Jane Foster, but she's interesting. I definitely don't want to run Crystal, but it is a fun thought experiment. Is it wrong to just put Sarah back in? She becomes a 4-5 if she's inverted. I would rather have Wong, obviously, than some of these cards. Crystal needs some love. I agree. Because, <sighs> like, okay, with Sarah, you can. Turn 7, be 5. 4 is too much. It's 9. I don't know if you can Sarah in this deck. Four or five claw, think of the value, such value. <sighs> what is the final pick here? I did enjoy Sarah in the other deck. You could still keep in Blue Marvel. I know you want a four, but leech. <laughs> I do enjoy the idea of leeching my opponent's hand, but that's like, Four fives and a six is a is we're incredibly top heavy. America Chavez to improve draw chances. <sighs> Maybe the problem is she's counter synergy with magic. Wish you had Wong. I do too, but my shop has seen fit to feed me Shuri, which I simply cannot afford. I mean, I can't afford, but I simply cannot afford. You understand. Why not morph? Because I want something more consistent, because we're rarely going to have a free morph that also... Because you're depending on... Morph's already so dependent on getting a good card from your opponent's hand that doesn't mess you up, but then you have to hope that it's also in the deck still after Mr. Negative flips, and I'd much rather be drawing a free Arnim Zola, a 4-5 Black Panther, a 3-5 Magic, a 1-5 White Tigers, just they're all better than that. Try Crystal as an experiment. All right, let's define the meta, chat. Chat, you guys are just, some of you are just saying random cards now. Chat's like, put Kingpin in. <laughs> put Pikachu in.
All right, let's do it. Replace Iron Man with Wasp. You guys are way ahead of your time. Did you know that? You guys are thinking on a different plane of existence. Okay, there we go. Well, let's just say that we tried, okay? Let's say that we tried. Our opponent will certainly never see Crystal coming, and I think that is very much a guarantee of this deck. We replace Shang-Chi for Crystal in this deck because we're bold. We're forward-thinking. Angela, ooh. Double Psylocke into what? Already winning. Does Hood Sinister give you two demons? It should, right? On reveal, add a demon to your hand? It very much should. I think I just don't want them to take advantage of the copies because Sinister London is better for them than for me. Why did... Oh. No, oh, they protected that name. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay. Middle is filling up quickly. Chat! Is this what you do? Is this the min is this the correct play? Why does it have to be at the middle location as well? They'll never see this coming. Cause is turn five negative still bad? Crystal's always the wrong play? You take that back. It does it one at a time. Well, we did find Mr. Negative, but at what cost? Here's my question. What is my opponent getting ready to wave? Opponent snapped. What do they want to play it for? I hope that's good. Uh, I hope that's really good for you. I probably should have played this somewhere else because I actually forgot that we were a Black Panther deck now. So, uh, my bad. That's my bad. I, I'm still in my mental state is still with the other Mr. Negative deck. So we definitely don't want Zola. What do we want, chat? We want... Zola's the best card we can get. Okay, well, that's too bad. Um, Iron Man Onslaught for minus four. You are now thinking with portals. Bro, I don't know what the hell to do. Okay. Wakanda forever. Chad, I screwed it up. I had the chance for glory, and I screwed it up. And it's all my fault. It's all my fault. I really don't want to take a four cube loss for this. 33% chance for glory. Remember that time you played Crystal Mid? That wasn't even the problem. The problem was playing Mr. Negative right. If I didn't play Mr. Negative right, we'd probably win this game, actually. Chat, one and three, hallelujah, four cubes, let's do it. It's easy. I 
I won't make this mistake. <laughs> I will not be making this mistake again. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. I won left. Yeah. Easy game, chat. Easy game. Look, this was the real goal. I can't believe I got the world first frame break of crystal in Marvel Snap. Okay, let's let's get good. Um, next time I'm gonna leave Wakanda open. Okay, we're gonna we're learning lessons. We're gonna leave Wakanda open to protect Panther. And we're going to not play anything else so that we can Zola. I just unlocked Zola, and I basically never played with Black Panther, so uh, I've got a bit of a learning curve here, okay? We're learning. People hating on Crystal. She drew Mr. Negative. She did, actually. Main goal is to win left. We don't care about cubes. That's, that's a valid point. I feel like Bishop to Necrotia is fine, right? Because we can just change it with uh, magic anyways. Ongoing effects are doubled. Goose's ongoing is nobody can play cards that cost four, five, or six at this location. So when you double it with Onslaught Citadel, it means nobody can play cards that cost eight, 10, or 12. I know that's confusing, but Ben Brode personally requested it be like that. Do you think it's fine to just Mr. Negative on Death's Domain? I don't think it's wrong. Well, that's an interesting pickup. I think... If we get Black Panther, it's not very good, is it? Um... Because Goose is sort of limiting my ability to Zola anything... well. Is Lockjaw worth it to buy from the token shop? Lockjaw is currently my number one pull three card that I want. So take that for whatever it's worth to you. For me, it's definitely worth it. For you, I don't know. I have no idea what your collection looks like. If you have cards like Wasp, um, or what is it, Yellow Jacket? that work well with Lockjaw. Might be a little bit more than usual. Chad, is turn six. What do? <laughs> this deck too big brain for me. Uh, what if we just... Iron Man right. I don't have Wasp and Yellow Jacket. It might be a little less good for you. Okay, this is somewhat spicy. Cloak saves the day here. Yeah, this is a uh, this is very spicy actually because I can just move Bishop, Black Panther. Wait, what do I do with Mystique? Hang on. I Mystique mid, Bishop over, Black Panther left, Arnim Zola left, to eat Black Panther. Arnim Zola destroys a random friendly card here and adds copies to the other locations. And then just Nakia wherever.
Who's moving? Maximus! Oh, thanks for the cards. Chad, this is like the best case scenario. I didn't snap because I wanted to see the combo. If I snap, they might retreat. Peekaboo. <laughs> oh, and it gets Iron Man. Oh my god, 92 and 60? We won this game. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Negative is fun. Victory. Mr. Negative is very fun. So ongoing effects are doubled since Mystique copied Iron Man's ongoing effect and doubles total power, that is doubled. So Black Panther's 20 became 80. And to think he lost because he played Cloak. He did for sure lose because he played Cloak, yeah. That is accurate. That was firing on all cylinders. I hope you enjoyed it because we probably won't see that again. At least not that that beautiful. But you never know, chat. You never know. Mr. Negative is by far my favorite card that I have right now. It's so fun. It doesn't it makes me even forget that I'm not infinite this season. Technically, we don't need to Psylocke unless we want to Iron Man, Black Panther, or Magic. Just by having Crystal in hand, it gave him the motivation to win. Very true. I think I'm just going to Nakia. We get Onslaught Citadel again. God, that's a great Nakia. Hitting Iron Man and Black Panther is so good. Well, we can do this the old-fashioned way, yeah? If I play Psylocke this turn, what? Do we even need the extra energy for it? It'll be turn four, we could play a turn five. I don't think we need it. I don't know if passing is correct. But it might be. Oh, they also passed. Okay. <clears throat> Probably Danger Room. Kill Danger Room. Thanos out of nowhere. So we're actually helping them by giving them an extra turn to find <laughs> the Infinity Stones. Okay. Crystal! Yo, can you go find Mr. Negative? Just kidding. That would be silly. Opponent, don't you dare frickin' snap right this second, okay? Don't you dare frickin' snap right now. Alright, well that makes things slightly harder. It's almost like they knew where I was going to play. Hello, Simcopter. What's up? Hope you're having fun with Marvel Snap. I am. It's a very fun card game. Uh, I heard it recently described as a lifestyle card game, and I would say that I probably agree with that. Well, I have to retreat and lose two cubes, but that's okay. I don't think I have anything that can win right. WTF does a lifestyle card game mean? It means like when you buy Slay the Spire, okay, you have a card game that is a complete package. It has all but stopped updates. It is a full experience of a game that you can play and it is what it is when you get it. Lifestyle means this game has, unless they go bankrupt, no intention of stopping adding things to the game. They are adding four cards a month. That's a card a week. 
which doesn't sound like a lot, but in Snap, it is a ton. They have only been releasing one card a month uh, for the last two months with a season pass. And it's a game that intends to go on so long that for you to continue to play and, and keep unlocking things, uh, it is basically a lifestyle as in you log in, you do your dailies, you do your weeklies, um, you keep up with the season pass, all that stuff. A game that you can, you don't have to, but a game that you can, especially if you want to have a near complete collection, uh, need to commit a long, um, like a long term amount of time. Over the course of many months. Like I've already been playing this for two months. Which is crazy to think about because I played starting at launch and we're almost on the third season pass month. So it's not going anywhere for me. Like I would say that this is a lifestyle game for me now. Like I play it basically every day. I don't feel tired of it yet. I've gone through the stages of grief with falling up and down the ladder. But I'll be doing well, Sim. I think Sim would very much like this game, but you'd have to be willing to sell your soul to Ben Broad. So I can't recommend um, other people become hopeless addicts with a good conscience. Unless they're looking to. I was looking to. I was like, please, Ben Broad, please. I will sign this so many different times. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Just let me know. Okay, so we're getting Mr. Negative down. He's gonna invert the cost and power of all the cards in our deck. On curve, now we don't need Crystal. <laughs> Crystal did help us out once, so that was nice. We're gonna let them have the raft, okay? Chat, I also can't Black Panther Arnim Zola because Strange Academy is going to move him. Wakanda means they can't be destroyed. Destroy a random friendly card so Arnim Zola literally doesn't work. Which is fun. They're going to get a free 6 cost card. Okay, I was not hoping that that went left. I was hoping that went right. Because we could actually win right. Now we cannot win right. Iron Man is still in the deck, and others. Also, if it went... M m uh. I mean, I can still win... No, I can't. Let's just go. I'll back out. Escaped. Black Panther left. And then Arnim Zola? It's bold. You're telling me that Arnim Zola is more powerful than Wakanda and can destroy cards on that? That's why we got screwed. Otherwise, it would have been a good play. Ben Brode can have anything he wants from me. <laughs> Take whatever you need, Ben. Chad, are you ready? Are you ready to snap? Oh, are you ready to snap right now? Snap. Chat, tell me that you're ready to snap right now. We're gonna get Mr. Negative turn three, magic turn four. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. <sighs> I'm gonna do it! Oh, yeah, 
get rewarded instantly, chat. Rewarded instantly. Okay, hold on. All right, hold on. Let's make this a real game. Mirror match. Zero three green goblin. Etal, no. <laughs> I'm filling up their side of the board with small ones, chat. It's fine. Okay, just relax. Actual mirror match. Uh-huh. I'm gonna double crystal next turn mid. That's just Viper with extra steps. Oh my. Psylocke? Gambit? Oh no, Black Panther- No! Why would you assassinate Black Panther there? You could have killed Mr. Negative, Okoye. This is crystal value, chat. Look at this crystal value for turn seven. We're gonna just crystal on the right so it only shuffles once. It doesn't really matter, but they'll never see it coming. Oh my god, there's Thanos. A zero three dagger is not the worst. Thanos, why are you so expensive, bro? Okay, so I can get... <sighs> I don't know what the play is. Oh my god, we did it, chat. Oh my god, we did it. See, Green Goblin actually just won me the game. And I'll tell you why. Because it gave my opponent confidence because they had eight points to my four. Whereas if I didn't play Green Goblin for free, they would have only had five to four, guaranteeing that they would have played over here instead of splitting the difference. Also, I actually would have just won if I played Thanos mid as well, so. They didn't exactly have the strongest final turn play, but GG anyways. Crystal helped. Yeah, Crystal actually helped. <laughs> Crystal negative, new meta. By the way, thanks again, Sim, for 48 months of sub. I hope your streams have been going well, dude. Thanks for popping in saying hi. Having a good time in Snap. Sim, uh, Twitch doesn't tell me what you've been playing, but I trust that you've been having a lot of fun playing it. But feel free to share in the chat what you've been up to recently. Because inquiring minds want to know. Okay, so we want to keep one lane open for Black Panther. He doubles his power when he's revealed. I'd say Angela mid is fine. We're just going to leave right open. Yeah, you have seen the Arnim Zola variants. There are some really cool ones. Oh, no. I hope they got a copy of Crystal. <laughs> That'd be best case. Chat? Are we going to Crystal? I don't think it's good, but, like, this hand kind of sucks. I think best thing we have in our hand is 
Uh, Iron Man Mystique is not that good. I'm actually not sold on not having Sarah in this deck. I think we need Sarah in this deck to be reasonable. Crystal incoming. I got Mr. Negative, but I actually need magic. Hellcow discarded Hulk and Odin? Am I gonna get Helen? Chad, how does a Hella deck make sure they don't discard Hella? They don't. <laughs> oh. I am Iron Man. Okay. Well. What does that be? What what number is that? I actually don't understand how this works. Is it going to be 4, 8, 12? Or is it going to be 16? Is this just 16 points, right? Oh. I am Iron Man. I think theirs is better. I, I tried to go for the Iron cheeky Man. Daily Bugle pick. I don't think it worked. Did win mid. We both tried to ignore Shadowland, except they ignored it better. So, GG. They should have let me win because I played Crystal, though. They just discard Hella most of the time. Hmm. Chat, is a uh, Hella discard considered bad right now? Or not meta? And if so, would um, making Hella say this card cannot be discarded make her better? Or would that be OP? We're definitely drawing Mr. Negative next, right? One in six. How dare you hurt my cards in this way? Hi, Zero Cool Gamer. Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a nice stream today. We didn't draw it. So sad. I guess, yeah, Ghost Rider can bring Hella back. That's fair. I'm seeing actually a lot of Invisible Woman today. This is the third or fourth time. This is very sad. Ugh. Icebox hitting my win condition and then not drawing my other win condition. <sighs> and I already screwed myself with Panther Arnim Zola because I'm not paying attention and I'm talking to chat. So I'm very good at this game. This was just me misplaying because I'm talking to chat and I can't multitask. I could have at least left one lane open. I don't know why I played bishop right. I should have played bishop left. Then I could at least black panther Zola and have a chance at a win. But it's pretty telegraphed if black panther just comes out all by himself. So. They haven't snapped yet. Oh, that's why invisible woman. Because I'm about to get, um, cerebro Uh, not that I'm that afraid of Cerebra, I just don't think I have anything better. Escaped. If magic's in the deck and we negative, do we get a 2-6 magic? It would be a 3-5 magic. I think I still lose there, probably. What's up, Italix? Hello, Dragono. In my experience, Apocalypse is a better turn six play than Hella. Hella's only good with Ghost Rider. Yeah, Hella and Ghost Rider definitely seem like they go together. 
I, of course, have neither of those cards. I am Iron Man. That's a good, that's a good pick. Wind, aid my hand. Uh-oh. <laughs> white Tiger. Listen, White Tiger. <coughs> I'll do anything. Okay? I'll do anything. Actually, it's just Black Panther. Zola is pretty good there. But I got nothing. What just happened? I don't know. Uh, something currently happening? Because the thing that happened happened like 45 seconds ago or so. Maybe they maybe they went AFK after they hit. <laughs> okay. Opponent snapped. Sure. Oh, snap. Let's make it spicy, chat. I think I'm not really winning, but what if I am? But what if I am? They're like, what the hell? Sledgehammer, can you reword your question? I don't know exactly what you're asking. All right, Psylocke gives me an extra energy this turn. Which means I can play a five cost card on turn four and extend the length of the game. Right? Should be. Unless I severely misunderstand how this interaction works. Mr. Negative is asleep in the deck, yeah. We don't really care if Mr. Negative is asleep. What we really need... is a certain scientist. We have a one in four to draw Zola next. And if we do, chat, if we do, we celebrate. I, well, we can't play Crystal Mid, huh? Crystal Mid would have been good if we didn't draw him, but meh. Okay, see, here's the thing, here's the thing, right? <laughs> uh, we have to keep this lane just naked with Black Panther and hope for the one and three. So White Tiger jeopardizes that with a 50-50. I don't have anything else to do except possibly pass. Why is there a naked Iron Man? Because, chat, we're just gonna freaking pass. They're going, dude. Why? <sighs> I believed. Escape. 
Chat, you can't crystal because the location is flooded and you can't play cards there. You have to play crystal to the middle to shuffle cards into your deck. Mr. Negative and Zola, final cards. Never lucky. We had that easy. I whine on the internet. It's true. I do. You need Wong. Wong would not have won that game. This bastard would have. All the cards I want to be in the deck when I Mr. Negative are here. We have the entire top end of the deck currently in hand, which sort of negates the entire purpose of Mr. Negative. Um, best I can draw with Mr. Negative is White Tiger now. Other than that, it's just... I, maybe Mystique, I guess. Mystique would be good. We need Crystal. <laughs> I need... Uh, I need a lot. Crystal's bad anyways. Crystal's only good if you can Psylocke turn two. Chad, if Crystal were three cost, she would actually be amazing. I'll tell the devs. Thank you, Jeffro. Thank you. I appreciate that. This deck is definitely not ideal. Like, I, I understand that. I would like Wong to, and changing some other things up. Like, I definitely am missing Sarah, and, uh... <sighs> what can I say? What can I say? This is not the play, but it totally is the play. Look at their board and then look at my board. <laughs> well, I have Mr. Negative, but if I play him now, I only get to draw one card. Why would you shuffle the combo that could win back into your deck? Because it's called... What is the deck called? Kate Dandy. What's the title of the deck here? I ask you. It's Crystal Negative. Negative cube, crystal. Negative cube. It's okay. It's the Angela Bishop deck. That's true. All right, chat. We're taking the meme out. We're taking the meme out. No more meme. We're doing some shifteroo. Okay, number one. Crystal obviously is dead. White Tiger literally hasn't been played. Okay, so we're just gonna sub that out for my good friend Sarah. And then we're gonna go back and put Spider-Man 3-4 you don't get to play here I don't know I had Shang-Chi in this deck which was okay Hmm, Shang-Chi, I think the options are Shang-Chi again, Spider-Man. The ultimate greed play is Moon Girl, but I don't think Moon Girl's gonna get play with me. 
You want to flip Maximus? You want a 7-3 Maximus in my Mr. Negative deck? That's a great idea. You guys are super genius. Chat, we need cards that are synergistic. <laughs> you want to go with Red Skull here? <laughs> Make him unplayable, fam. I want cards that are so high power they don't. I, the energy to play them doesn't exist yet. I mean, Blue Marvel is fine. I'm trying to think of what we're replacing here. We've done Mr. Fantastic and Shang Chi. So I think the options are Shang Chi again. There's too many like high high cost cards here, I think. Chat, I'm going with There's so many high cost cards. The only bad one is Arnim Zola. What if I just get Jubilee? Is that the worst? If Jubilee pulls Angela, sucks. Psylocke is an extra energy at least. Mystique is a bad pull. Bishop is fine. Naki is fine. Mr. Negative is fine. Iron Man's fine. Magic is fine. Black Panther is probably not good. Sarah is great. Arnim Zell is bad. So we have one, two, three bad pulls with Jubilee, I guess. Okay. Let's do it anyway. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. Don't copy this deck, chat. Okay? Don't copy it. Just let me lose my cubes in peace. For just a little while longer. Playing with dumb cards. Is this more like... This is closer to casino negative. Okay, please go up. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Boop. Again. I tried your Mr. Negative deck and lost 400 cubes. You are probably not even playing bots anymore. Binbroad has personally turned off your account. And now a bot plays instead of you after losing that many cubes. We're not going to draw negative. It's told you. Okay, let's instead just Psylocke it. Victory. Was my op <laughs> it's working? Uh, was my opponent playing like Cerebro? Because these are awful Cerebro locations. <laughs> this deck works. <laughs> Copy it immediately. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. No, I didn't want to play Jubilee on turn four. Why would I? Damn. Jubilee, we're going to have to take that dress back because you are broke. Also, what is this hand? Yo, he's the man. Chat, it's happening, but what can I even draw that's good? Zola? Is that it? I can draw Zola. Oh, Sarah would be fine. Magic. It's pretty good. They're helping. Oh, no, they're not. I forgot that was nowhere. Well, it's hard to complain about a free Angela, I guess. Chat, 
Chad, how do you feel? I think we saved Black Panther. Let's just Angela Iron Man mid. Zola is in hand. You're right. Sorry, my brain's not working. I think we have a pretty good hand here, though. I am Iron Man. Daredevil with Jug. Daredevil with Jug. We miss out on Mystique. Am I gonna get Professor X'd? It's okay, if I get Professor X, we're just simply gonna draw... Then we don't have anything, okay. I love characters like Iron Man who introduce themselves over and over again. I never forget their names. That's excellent. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Wakanda forever. Chat. Don't we just win with um Zola mid? I guess not if it's Iron Man, huh? This is worse. Yeah, I think we're losing. But like... What's our best... Because Iron Man wins us left and loses us mid? Play Jubilee Casino. Jubilee doesn't even have a target. They have Sarah, Magic, Nakia, and that's it. I think I'm losing eight cubes. Don't copy me. Math is hard. That's not that bad. Oh yeah, chat, on reveal effects don't happen at this location. Listen, I know you're tired of watching streamers win all day. That's why I'm here. To show you what it's really like playing Marvel Snap, okay? This guy is so bad. Hello, nostalgic. I just needed to give you a pick-me-up, okay? I'm doing this for you to improve your morale and self-esteem because you're currently trawling through Twitch trying to watch how to get good. But it's okay because I'm you're just like me for real. Remember, losing is fun. Odin can force magic even if it's turn six. I don't think Jubilee targets magic afterwards. I don't think so. You give me hope that I too can make it to infinite? Well, I'm not infinite, so. Again. I am not gonna lie, nowhere gets me more often than not because I just forget. Oh, snap. 
Chat, what's the worst draw here? Is it... Mystique? Chat, what if you Jubilee Arnim Zola? Is that insane? She's still a 1-4, just don't pull Mystique. Well, I'm glad I didn't Arnim Zola. Okay, I'm playing Bishop left so I can save room for Black Panther. The downside is... I kind of have to Black Panther now, don't I? Or like... Space Throne throw me off. Oh, they actually got a good Psylocke into Mr. Negative. That's cheating. God, I'm really just missing Wong in this deck, huh? Chat, what's the play here? I think you skip Mr. Negative, because if I play Mr. Negative anywhere, I am weakening my Black Panther Zola. They're playing mid. And I get to still play at Space Throne? Maybe it is worth Mr. Negative. Because I can still draw Iron Man. Um, I don't really need Sarah. Iron Man's probably the best pick. Iron Man Mystique. <laughs> well, people are copying your deck. Yeah, no, this is definitely mine. I made this. I'm probably the first one to, to use Crystal in it. I don't have Crystal either anymore, though. Snap, I already did. Though they might just have Shang-Chi. Look, they're doing it too. I did it first. Just give me Iron Man. It's a 50-50 Iron Man Mystique, and I... I think I'm getting screwed two ways. 50% of my losses are just awful misplays, like last game, and 50% are... Just give me the one card I need to win. Just give me the only card I need to win, please. You're inspiring millions to play Arnim Zola without Wong. I'm not alone, it looks like. Ooh, Jubilee. What do they want? I am Iron Man. Chat. Dodge Shang-Chi mid by Iron Man, right? Is that correct? Wait, we don't... They're not going to Shang-Chi mid. They would Shang-Chi left, because they're already winning mid. Right? If they Shang-Chi, we just lose either way. Literally the same deck. <laughs> uh, yeah, literally the same deck.
This is sort of dangerous just because Iron Man exists. That being said, they could just... Play... Oh. Why? Victory. Why do you retreat there? When you're winning two locations. Internet went out. Their hand was all rocks. <laughs> where did they get the rocks from? Because he knew you had an Iron Man and couldn't decide where you would go. <laughs> I doubt that. He had to pee. I don't know. I want my four cubes, dude. They retreat to not disrespect the owner of this deck. You might be onto something there. I'm ready to be disappointed by Shuri's lab chat. It's time. I only need a few cards. There's one of the ones I need. I guess they can just have a bishop. Oh. It's him. I don't actually know if... I guess it does help. Well, I kind of have to just make this happen now, huh? Devil Dino on top of Shuri's lap doesn't go the way that you expect, huh? It's too late for you, Magic. I'm gonna get shang chi -ed. I'm in danger. See, I wish when opponent... I wish when an opponent snapped though, it just gave you the opportunity to like take back your turn. I think it's like a huge game issue that you can lock in your turn and then the opponent can snap and then your choices are either be stuck with it even though you had 75% of your turn left or retreat. Because, yeah, if my opponent snaps after I play Black Panther, then I would like an opportunity to uh, make a different play. Or think about it for more than three seconds. Because I probably still lose. But it'd be nice to, like, have a second to analyze the board. Instead of just uh, panic retreating or being like, I don't know what's, I don't have time to think about why. But your opponent doesn't know you in the turn. It doesn't matter because if you really wanted to play optimally, all you have to do is wait the entire duration of the turn until the very last second and then snap in an in turn. And you can guarantee that your opponent has already hit the in turn button unless they're doing the exact same thing. Like, it is actually optimal to rope your opponent every single turn. Because A, in case they snap, you have a second to make an adjustment. And B, if they don't snap, you can snap and guarantee that they've already locked in their play. So it's actually optimal to wait, which is not how the game should be. So, unfortunate. I do whine on the internet. It's in my title, therefore I'm allowed. Because I really hate just being like, oh, my opponent saw my play, snapped after I locked in my turn. I have to just panic retreat and assume that they were right.
I think I played against a few people doing that. Yeah, it's... It's unfortunate. Some people just forget to press the end turn button. Like, I've done that before. Uh, what do? I was hoping for Mr. Negative. But alas. This might accidentally pull Zola. But let's just get chaotic. I'm kind of done with this deck anyways. It's just... It's for goofing off. Lost a few too many cubes. That is both good and bad. I should have just left it open, actually. Chat, best case scenario, we have a 50% chance to draw Zola, but then what do we do? I should have just, I don't know. I'm a little just tilted right now, I think. Uh, how do I win Sanctum Sanctorum? Opponent snapped. Zola's in the bottom of the deck anyways. So I don't really feel that bad. I can play Mr. Negative. I can... <sighs> Iron Man Mystique is good. That's true. But you know what's not good? Showing them that I have Iron Man Mystique and not having anything to go to Sanctum Sanctorum. I am Iron Man. All I gotta do is win the hub by enough, huh? I am Iron Man. I do be Iron Man right now. We're tied, chat. Oh, did they have they have him! They have Zola. Oh. They stole him with cable. So they're just going to win right... They're just going to win right no matter what, then. Okay. Escaped. I think everyone's on the same page. If someone snaps, it should unlock your end turn. Yeah, it should just add a certain amount of time to the, the turn itself. More than, like, the three seconds. I would say. Sewer Rat says you have a problem. Sewer Rat, you've gifted a thousand gift subs. You have a problem. Do you understand? <laughs> no, you. Gift audit. The most recent patch added it to give five seconds when they snap. Yeah, but it, you gotta be able to, like, play. You've gotta be able to play. And I'll gift more, too. You have a problem. Uh, Sewer Rat, thank you for 25 months. And also for the tier three gifts up to not good at this. Enjoy not good at this. But yeah, it's like, it's hard to say. You know what they could do? 
What if they made it where there was like, I don't know, the, from a UI perspective, this is difficult, but what if like on the end turn, you know how there's a timer on the end turn? What if there was a clear halfway point on the end turn button? And if you don't snap before that halfway point, you cannot snap that turn. Is that an awful idea? <laughs> now what? <laughs> now, now what what? Ban him. Um, is there a notification? Or is Twitch dead? The first gift in that batch of 30 was Sewer Rat's 1,069th gift sub. I'd rather just an undo turn. Undo turn. How do you undo turn if your opponent snaps? But I'm saying, like, let's say you have 60 seconds on a turn. If... It gets to the halfway point and you haven't snapped. Oh. This is your captain speaking. I don't want to alarm anyone, but it appears that we've been flying heavy ever since we took off from the gate. After a cursory examination of the baggage underneath the plane, I have discovered that there are stowaways! Dozens of them! Everybody! Abandon ship! You heard the man? <sighs> Let's get out of here. Plain Pogs in chat. <laughs> Thank you, Suret, for 30 gift subs. Any more, and I'm gonna have to buy uh, additional gold, I think, in the shop. Later, chat. Chat's piecing out of here. Let's at least switch back to the Mr. Negative deck that I was doing okay with. How about that? Also, if you got a gift sub, uh, Sewer Rat just dumped $150 in gift subs. Enjoy Super Tech God, Try Way Too Hard, Vanna Ham, Baby Hercules, Chocolate Checker, Skippy Skip, Colon, He3, Voyeuristic, Ranty, and more. Thank you for your gift subs. Someday he'll be forced to play Flight Sim again. One day I will. One day I will. Sinister London. I've got two Widow Spites, which means I don't get to draw a card this turn. What if I just fill up over there? I don't have a turn three anyways. I'm still waiting on Midas Cam. Me too, I can't find it. I'm missing a camera. I think I'm being punished, chat. That's a lot of rocks. That is a lot of rocks, yeah. The thing is, do they even they don't have room to set up the Wong play, I don't think. Oh, I got the better version of that. There's Luke Cage. Alright, so we're in expecting Hazmat. Oh shit, I just Mr. Negative my deck twice. <laughs> Alright, I am not playing well right now, and uh, it's... <laughs> it doesn't matter, because I only have one spot anyways. <laughs> oh, Chad, I'm done. Up for your collection. Why you still you know what, guys? Being a sub's not so bad. Get that guy. This is what happens when you play on full tilt. Playing on full tilt, you make terrible plays. We're gonna take a long break from this. I got some grinding to do in my off time chat. We just lost two whole ranks. You know how long it's gonna make you get two ranks back? Oh my god. Time to hit the cash shop. I don't even have anything to get, because I want to get the next one that comes out after two weeks. Yeah, we were 95 temporarily, and then we started goofing around with the Armin Zola. He's 
gonna play in bed until he gets those ranks back. It's just like, I respect the hell out of the streamers who are gaming and they're winning and they're dominating and making it look easy because chat, it, it's not easy, especially with you this distracting the me. Gift sub sell. Trial. I'm just gonna blame you. Also for many hours at a time, because it's just like a bunch of math, a bunch of sums. And I'm definitely just in misplay city right now. So just being a baddie, time to get good. Because that's the thing, like none of their, none of my opponent's cards are actually better at the moment. It's just, I'm goofing with cards I never played with before. I literally just unlocked Armin Zola, Arnim Zola today. Ar Armin Zola is uh, maybe a, the last name of the Attack on Titan character. Um, I just unlocked the Hood. I just unlocked Falcon. I just unlocked Captain Marvel. We just unlocked Mr. Negative the day before yesterday. So I got a lot of, of, of gamer knowledge to acquire. The 3000 IQ play is keep losing to tank my MMR so that on the final like two days of the season, I can just like go up eight cube games faster than the MMR can correct. Cause uh, I'm playing against people with collection levels in the 4500s to 7000s and I'm at 1400. So I have to have, like, my game knowledge has to be equal to them to compete. So I gotta, I gotta do some more practicing, basically. I gotta get used to how these decks play. But that's the fun, is they do change the way you have to think about each game. Because I'm not used to, oh, don't duplicate Mr. Negative, yeah. No, it makes sense. We talked it through. But anyway, I'm done for now. Thank you, Sewer Rat, for the gift subs. We'll be back with uh, more Marvel tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be Midnight Suns. So we're going to get back into my normal wheelhouse of strategy games and play the game from the XCOM devs that just came out. So we're going to XCOM it up via Marvel Midnight Suns. It's been reviewing re really well. And then probably take the weekend off I love that five tier three gift subs get the same as five tier one. Well, you shouldn't be doing it for the notoriety. Alternatively, you could just gift uh, 25 regular gift subs for the same price, and then you get a different notification. Sewer Rat is for some reason just losing their damn mind and uh, just gifted another, how many? $125 in gift subs to Sonya Zam Anza Poo Time. You just gifted a tier three sub to Poo Time. And Kenneth King and Dabbing Yi. Warning, you are approaching the gift sub threshold. It appears you have gifted at least 25 gift subs. Thank you for your generosity in support of the Alex YouTube channel. At least 25. Well. Buy some gold now. <laughs> buy some gold now. I will probably be buying more gold, but I want to wait until I am of good mental conscience uh, to use it and enjoy it. Because right now I'm just full tilted mode. Sewer Rat funding the addiction personally. Maybe we'll open some caches on stream tomorrow or the next time. Okay, we'll open some boxes. For now though, chat, thank you so much, Sewer Rat. Come back to the stream tomorrow. Because then you can actually see some content. I'm gonna send you guys off into the void and I'm gonna go rest my weary head because I gave myself a headache trying to get good at Snap. So I'm gonna get good off stream. All right. <laughs> good night.
everybody. I'll see you guys again uh, for the stream tomorrow. We'll probably be on a little bit earlier. I think today was like four or something. So I will see you guys then, okay? Good night. Have a good one. Take it easy. Go into the void where you belong. I appreciate you hanging out. And thanks for all the gift subs. Sewer Rat, thank you for 62 gift subs and five tier three subs. A lot of first monthers in there. Enjoy your ad-free viewing for 30 days. Courtesy of Sewer Rat. Eleven hundred and twenty-nine gift subs in the community. Outrageous. Uh, and now I'm gonna take all that money and run by. <laughs> <laughs>